It's happening. Listen, before this episode starts, we just thought we'd make a little clip to let you know that anyone who doesn't know, we now have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. And there's like a few different tiers on there. And we can go and get where you can sign up to us. And it helps us make this podcast. Helps us make it, helps yeah, us pay for the podcast. Helps us make it better. Helps us improve and put more content out. We've got big plans for things we want to do. Haven't we? Since. <laughs> yes, we have. We've got big plans. <laughs> we have got big yes, plans. Yes, Rob. Yes. <laughs> No, we have got big plans, and without without anyone signing to the Patreon, this will die. Yeah, this um, will go away eventually because if we can't make it work financially, we can't keep doing it, can we? No, we can't just keep throwing. Fucking no, and we've got Aftermill to buy, and that fucking costs. We've got above. kids to pay for. Yeah. And listen, we I'll be honest. Keep this if I can't, if I can't provide, I'll leave. Yeah. So and we already know you don't want to make an orphan. We already know how this how it's going, don't we? <laughs> So we needed to be giving us something back. Yeah, please. Because we're bleeding here. Yeah. My kids are begging. My kids yeah. begging. So sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. That's it. There's three different tiers, loads of different prices. Pick yeah. one. Pick one. Help sign us. up. You won't even notice it going out your bank. It's a couple of no. quid. Less than a Tesco meal deal. Oh, well. <laughs> maybe more than a Tesco meal deal. You'd buy a starving just... man a meal deal, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I'm starving. That's what we are. Look at me. Look at him. I'm Do you think star- that? Do you think this? Help! <laughs> another one. Another one. Hi everyone, welcome to another one podcast, episode number fucking 70, fucking whatever fucking thing. It's uh, happening, 72. Well, uh, is it 72? Okay, Seven, now, I the age so. that both of us are due to die. Um, uh, I'm Simon it. Wozniak, uh, Rob Thomas next to me on the couch, and with us with two debutants. <coughs> mm. to, to my left is uh, Tom Lawrenson. <laughs> Prin- Prin- Prince of TikTok <laughs> And uh, right we've got Jordan Desharm Hello Happy to be here Just does jokes at the Oaks That's me <laughs> yeah, not, not a credit to my name Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Another was- Canadian immigrant Coming over here Taking our yeah, gigs Yeah 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 man it's beautiful It's good to have you on How have you been Jordan? It's good man It's been crazy Crazy couple weeks Oh know. right well, What's been up Just lots of gigging Lots of work Oh really Yeah sort of tired again Sounds Miss, terrible. Missing lockdown, really, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that close enough? So I'm just a bit yeah, yeah, we're sweet. Right we're sweet. Yeah, move um, a bit closer. He's got yeah. that projectile Canadian voice. Oh, has he got that gruff? That low, North American projecting. That, that low tone. Yeah, I'm super monotone, but it goes far. Right, yeah. Um, I was just speaking to you, wasn't I, about my career before? Yeah. Before you got here, I was having a good old moment about my career, yeah. Just like he's flying now. Are you no. on TikTok, George? No, I can't be asked. Are you on anything? Just Instagram, just the gram. That's a that goes all right, you know. Do you put content out? No, like mm. never. No, almost just a just a podcast. No Real gangster. Oh yeah, yeah, you got a pod, haven't you? Yeah, a game one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lucky to get triple digit views here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did you just put out on the tube. Uh, no, not even that. Uh, <laughs> Spotify, Spotify only. Is that it? Yeah, no, yeah. Vi- no, no. Just no. Spotify. Oh, I don't know. I whatever Anchor does. I think it goes up in a lot of places. No visuals right. now. No, just a gangster graphic. move that in this day and age. That yeah, it's really dumb. I don't know. I like I like because you know I play a lot of video games, so I like thinking it's not all for totally nothing. You do so. look like you play a lot of video games. <laughs> Smoke a lot of weed, play a lot of games, but then but if I do a podcast and I'm like, oh, I sort of like put a bow on that game in my head. You know, it's almost like. Um, well, what you want to do is you want to attach yourself to tin and something rotten, don't you? <laughs> that's, 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 that's what you'd be advised to do. Is just don't let that fucker yeah. go. Yeah, no, I think I, don't, I think stick you know, your talons in him and keep him there. Yeah. No, I think I like because I love working with Dan, but I've always felt us where we go in like totally different directions. No, that's no, why you want to yeah, cling yeah, on yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going up. <laughs> well, yeah. But He's I mean, made more in prize money than yeah. I have in my whole career. I, I know, <laughs> dude. Like a week, a week, at, a week or two Get after. Get them coattails. And that is not a joke. Right. <laughs> a week or two after he won that the ten grand British Comic of the Year, me and him were on some competition for like five hundred quid. He and won that. Did, I, yeah. I almost wanted yeah. to be like, dude, do you want to just yeah. one of us wins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Split it. Should I, go off? <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to do that. And, and then of do- course, he took it. And I'm he's like, doing less than Mercury as well, isn't he? Uh, There's another so, bag yeah. for him to swipe <laughs> up there. Uh, he's fucked. Hopefully he gets robbed. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Hopefully he gets Can't robbed. Well, he's gay. He's got the. He's got the oh, yeah, him. he's gay. And ADHD. Is he ADHD as well? Uh, dyspraxic. Dyspraxic, right. Okay, yeah. Not a proper one. That's where the, the spatial awareness isn't it? Is it spatial? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know because I know his set so well. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did it for our two-year anniversary show. We dressed as each other and did each other's like five minutes. You got the curly hair, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It was pretty fun. It went over pretty well. I, dre- I was dressed I in ima- shorts. And can't imagine you having the energy to do that. Because <laughs> oh, his, set, yeah. his set's quite... 
manic, yeah. innit? No, I was pretty drunk, so. Right, so right. you had energy that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it go well for you? It went all right, you know. It's five minutes. It's tough to fuck up, like. Yeah. So you could do is five, yeah. Yeah. I mean, all right, I could. I, I've forgotten a lot of it, but. Yeah, but imagine doing someone else's five and then ripping it. I mean, like, I think that could be the best gig we've ever had. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone's bits well enough to. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't do a fire. Don't respect anyone. anyone enough to sit and listen to them. <laughs> a cheeky little monkey. That's all. I, that's I don't it. do that anymore. Do you not? No, no, no. You swerved it. I used to do a, uh, my opening joke was, uh, it sounds shit, but it was sometimes, <laughs> yeah. 50% of the time, this would work really well. <laughs> I'd say, people, people say, oh, what you eat? I don't remember eating a cheeky little monkey. Yeah. But I was like seven years younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine doing that at fucking 55. <laughs> You do age out of jokes, like <laughs> you do. I used to have one with a moan about my dad, and I was like, "I'm too old to be having daddy issues." <laughs> Just to hear me, you're like, "Oh, my dad was well, old." You know, how I feel about this. I respect anyone that stays with the same thing for decades. <laughs> <laughs> Take commitment. I remember the first time I heard you do that bit was at one of my open mics, and I was like, "I've never heard that joke. That's hilarious." And then right as I was like praising you, Jamie Hutchinson was like. Oh, you're still doing that fucking <laughs> cheeky monkey joke. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought it was this brilliant new line. <laughs> yeah. Not even your joke. <laughs> no, um, um, yeah, no, you, well, yeah, I was just talking about the, this TikTok success. It's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, put vids out. Most people, I think most people, no one does it. Do you know what I mean? Like in the Northwest, like does like little videos like that. Josh Pugh makes yeah. videos and stuff. You, Pugh, um, are the big ones, I think. Who else does them? Uh, oh, what's he called? Jake Lambert started doing a few. Yeah. George Lewis does a few like them yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. It's the ones that are forced, though. You, you see people Jack Skipper's them, huge. Like Jack Skipper down south, he's a huge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. just him in his van yeah. and yeah. stuff, yeah. yeah. I like seeing your work with Ben Silver because oh, he's yeah. good at stuff like that. Yeah, does he ben, do videos like that? He's good at he's, he can do like, like uh, impressions and stuff. He's, he's had put a few out, but he's uh, not put too many out. Right. Josh. The year, well, every Monday for a year, didn't he? Last year. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's really kicked him off like constant. You have to be pretty constant, though, to get any traction. Uh, Well, Josh was doing, like, one a week. I'd do, like, one or th- up to three a week, generally. Oh, but, uh, shitting on him, yeah. A little bit, because people recognise you, then they decide to follow you. Like it Takes a while, doesn't yeah. it? I've been saying that to him with his one video on Instagram. <laughs> you like, got one. He's got one video on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take it down. What's, what's yours? He'd I'm going to take it down. No, I'm not, not like that. But are you doing a character? No, 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 no. I have got a character on YouTube, though, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. But like, well, you should clip that up. I know, yeah, I know. But I, oh, yeah, me clip something up. Fucking hell. No, um, yeah, I need to do something. And I get and I get a panic in it about it. And I have the same conversation with everyone. I'm bored of my own conversation now because it's mm. the same thing. And yeah. it's just like, just fucking shut up. Uh, and that's yeah. what I'm trying to do now is just shut up and I do like, you get sick rot. of whinging you're yeah like, what's new with you yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you're doing well that's the problem I've always got something to whinge about right yeah, what I've is it now uh, this week my brother-in-law took my telly away <laughs> <laughs> what are you right. um, the, my, I brought my telly a few years ago <laughs> yeah. divergent but uh, no um, this is good this my, what about my sister uh, she gets, she's like, oh, I've got an old telly in the spare room. We don't have like a 30 inch Samsung, you know, crap right. HD yeah. ready, you know, yeah. 720p. Yeah. And so it's I. Uh, <laughs> big man thing. How, how big's the back? Yeah. Not too big, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. flex that. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the chicks for that. But I had his weights and uh, I had his telly, and he just called me up one day going, Oh, I'm going to come get the telly and the weights. But that's like, that was my main telly. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah, you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's in. That's. Well, I'll say you don't take backs. Yeah. Well, he guilted me because he's got celiac disease. He was like, oh, I've been really struggling with it, so I need them back. And Hang on. Like, celiac's just where you can't that? eat wheat, in it? Yeah. yeah. So why has that got anything to do with his CV? <laughs> it's a massive impact on his life. Right. Yeah, my mate had a beard who had celiac. It's fucking sound of the pain in the arse. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is annoying, I think, when you see that. In the hospital every five minutes, you know, just tell stuff. Shit, shit in blood. Shit, then, yeah. That's why they hate the gluten people. Because, like, gluten intolerance, they're like, oh, it makes my stomach upset. But celiac people are like, I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I get any, yeah. any breadcrumbs or whatever. Yeah. Right, so you got the, t- so the TV taken away? Yeah, he just came and took it. So you're now TV-less? No, I got a new one. Uh... I ordered too big. <laughs> Did you ever do that? <laughs> Order too big. <laughs> What's too big? Well, you see, the stand 
used to be in the middle of the other oh, one. Oh, yeah, you have to get a new stand. These ones are at the side, like yeah. the legs are at the side. Yeah. Oh, so, shit. So what I did, I've got like this uh, wooden cabinet. I went to B&Q and just put a shelf on the edge of it. Do you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Like imagine I put an extra shelf on there, <laughs> just so it'd fit on. You've, yeah, you've I drilled did that it with to my mother in laws. Did you? So, my mother in law bought a new telly and um, the old stand didn't fit the new telly. And I just like, I just put a table on the side of it. Right. And then I was like, because I knew I had to cut, I was going to come was back it one perfect day. Perfect level, perfectly flush. Yeah, it was fine. It to be, wouldn't it? Well, it was just, it was annoy- it annoyed me when I'd done it. It annoyed me having to do it because I knew I'm going to have to come back here one day and build a new telly stand. And then I've got to be in this house again. And that, that just, the, just the thought of doing that was annoying me. So, like, every time my bird would send me, like, a link, would that telly stand fit? I'd just try and ignore it for as long as I could. And then she'd ask me while the telly was on, and I'd just, like, be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll look in a minute, I'll look in a minute, and then just try and blag it for about four weeks, and then the telly almost fell off the two stands. So you to go yeah. That'd be my worry. Like, in the middle of the night, something shifts, and it just fucking falls or whatever. It wasn't my house, I wasn't asked. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how much the telly was, I suppose. So you've got, you bought too big? Yeah. So now... 50. So you've got that up. Open a whale, 20 inches. Sorry. So you're going to open a whale, 20 inches? <laughs> that creator Sorry. fund money? Quick maths. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok partnership yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, right, so that's annoyed you. That's yeah. what you're whinging about now. That's yeah. your biggest gripe is Although, the TV. Yeah, that's it. Did you? Too big a TV. Yeah. How close mm-hmm. are you? Uh, Good problem to have. <laughs> we're, we're all right. Not fancy calling your sister, being like, "Oh, Danny's taking the TV back again." Me. Well, I was saying, I was like, this, "Mum and Dad aren't gonna like this." <laughs> 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 yeah. and, and what have, did they know yet? Well, everyone's just like, "Oh, he's insane." The bailiffs have he's been in, around. He's insane. Who takes back like that? Yeah. yeah that is, How long's it been? Insane. Over two years. Oh, that's <laughs> mad. That is <laughs> yeah. mad. That is too much. As two been, years. Is it in your right? Is, do you live on your own? Yeah. No, I live with my girlfriend. Right, yeah, but you, you know what I mean. Yeah. You don't live in the yeah. mum and dad's house anymore. Yeah, that is that, that's mental. Mm. Like, if he was living with his mum and dad for TV as well, might have gone like, "Oh, fucking, you live in your mum and dad's. It's in your room. You got me waiting." What, what's the? <laughs> well, it's in your house. In like a separate house. But what's the house. reason? Sorry, what? Did he, what's the reason he want making a little gym in his garage? Ah, uh, right, okay. Do some P ninety X. I reckon he's jealous. He sees your TikTok success and he's thought, "Fuck him." That might be it. <laughs> How's your family been over it? <laughs> to be honest, it's, there's not been that much. Well, the chat TV over or the TikTok? <laughs> the the, the uh, TikTok. TikTok, yeah. No, uh, they're not that bothered. No one, no one's really that impressed. Like, no. you know, like, if people know yeah. you, like, uh, they don't understand on a personal you? basis. Yeah. They're like, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What would they be impressed about? Just the radio or something. Oh, if I became a millionaire. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. you have to see. But I, so I want to do a, um, what's it called, a skiing one? The Brett Vincent books. Altitude. Oh, yeah. I want to do that just so I can take my dad with me because I think that's the only moment he's ever going to go, oh, fucking fair play. Yeah, he's doing all right, mm. him. Right. Just so I can take him on a skiing holiday and then he might think I've achieved something in comedy <laughs> then. Like, mm. I think if he was a millionaire, he'd be like, what the fuck's going on? Like, he'd assume my wife yeah. ain't it rather than me. Yeah, I think you've got to make a lot of money in this game before people respect yeah. you. Mm. Remember doing a 16 Definitely. gig weekend at Hot Water? 16, 16 gigs wow. over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into a nice few bags. Mm. And like thinking, this is fucking boss, this. And the Sunday, I went and met my dad for a pint. And that sounds fucking awful, by the way. 16 <laughs> gigs. <laughs> that sounds like fucking suicide, that. 16 shows in three nights, mate. The money was great. And then I went a bit... Went yeah, I know, but you, there's easier ways. <laughs> I bet that 16th gig was good. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> For the audience. Yeah, did they yeah. start at noon? Like, well, um, it's just... Oh, it my like, God. F- like, uh, two or five, two or seven, two, like... Right. So, and I think it was Christmas. I think it was one or two o'clock as well. So there was eight shows on the Saturday. And then, like, eight shows between two days on the Thursday, Friday. But, yeah, so then, like like say, a few bags. A couple mm. of bags, at least. And I went in... To meet my mum and dad. Flex in this episode, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just Pokemon Jord, what are you even getting? I went to meet my mum and dad, and the first thing my dad's <laughs> four Kit Kat junkies after <laughs> that. <them. laughs> first thing my dad saw when I walked in, that must have been, so it must have been a couple of years ago, so I'm 30 yards at this point. I walk in the pub and he goes, 
So you think about going back to uni, son, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you fucking mad? It's like, they're like, oh, fuck off. Like, I can't even talk to you. Yeah, if you get a nice weekend, you think, oh, this could, this is a nice sort of money, but I, I think you work for it. I've, I've said this before, haven't you, when we've said you've got yeah. you got X amount of gigs in one mm. night or over the weekend, and you're thinking, it looks good a few months away, but when mm. it gets closer to it, it feels like absolute work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You go, oh, yeah, that's a nice weekend there. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, doing all these gigs all over the place. Yeah. Comes to the time, you go, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. I'm do you reckon tired. you'll ever not do that, though? What? Wait, I feel like it's going to be work. I don't think there's ever a time in your life where what you, what you end up doing just feels like... Oh. Well, this is what I said about you like pedophiles, isn't it? Start paying pedos and they won't want to fuck kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a previous uh, Keo was on. We were talking about uh, Je Suis Tom Bins, and Keo was on, and I started saying like, anything you start getting money for feels oh. like work. So therefore, if you start paying pedophiles, yeah. they'll go. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. You know the way. Oh, that was it about the police. Poli people. Someone have to has watch. to watch the kids getting <laughs> fucked up. Like yeah. Someone has to watch kitty porn to confirm what it is. Right. Yeah. So it's someone's job to sit there and watch it. Yeah. And like, well, so the way to, the way to stop pedophilia. Is by paying them because then they'll become yeah. a job <laughs> and they don't want to do yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> For a couple of a couple of weeks on the job, they're like, "Fuck shit." We're here to solve all the world's yeah. issues, George. That's what we're here to <laughs> do. They'll miss the early days when it was free. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just the love of the game. Fuck. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> not why I got into this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get in this for the money. Yeah. Don't see any of my pals anymore. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a nice ring going, and it's just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> um, like there must be a thing with TikTok videos for you now. Where sometimes you're like, oh, I've just got to do another one now. Uh, yeah, I think it always shows if like if you ever do one where it's like oh, I should probably make one. It's not very good. It's they're only ever good when you know like you're like oh that'd be good, and then yeah. you, you make it instantly. And how long do each one does each one take? Uh, it can vary. Uh, like you can just like record one in one take and take a minute. And then sometimes I make one with like a green screen. Yeah, and take a bit longer, but then it looks better. Do you the do recent you ones when you're on the plane or oh, yeah. <laughs> trains? Do you just film yourself? Yeah, it's you put the, in. You put the audio. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what like I, that's the thing I'd need to get over because I'd. I'd just be giving you death looks. Like I'd be like, what the fuck? Well, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. What a fucking dickhead! On. <laughs> so like, because. <laughs> the reason I think you you all you put the audio on afterwards, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you just like mouthing to your it's phone? It's funny though. Or? It is funny that one. I well, that one. Though. That, oh, was... the funny! I'm not knocking the funny. <laughs> but I'm just saying, about sitting on that train watching him do it, you yeah. think, "What the fuck is this nonce doing now?" <laughs> that one on the plane. I was going <laughs> to. I went to Dublin last Monday. Me and my pal just for the yeah. day, nice. and I was in between the in between these two strangers, these big lads, and they just fell asleep. I was like, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> oh. I just filmed myself. There's one where I'm on a train where I keep getting up and like doing stuff, and that yeah. was that was a bit embarrassing. Mm. But then I was like, to be honest. I never. I don't <laughs> like doing things in public because it's cringe. Yeah. Like, imagine yeah. if someone was like, "Oh, yeah, go do a street interview." I was like, "I couldn't do that." Right. Like, oh yeah. Well, I was like, "No, no, these not beds are gonna see me again." So I just. Or yeah, when, there when is you that. You see like influencers in in some alley like doing really fancy photos, and it's just from yeah. the. It's yeah. like, oh, like don't you have any shame? Yeah, it's it's horrible, but it yeah. is the game, isn't it? Yeah, to an extent. I yeah. Think. Well, I have that thing in the back of my head where I can imagine someone from school being like, what are you doing? You know, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my problem. You're just a gimp, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> just like, you take off. It's not someone from school. It's just me mates now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the people yeah. that hold dearest to me, it's just like, you fucking mess. Oh, this is how you make a living, is yeah. it? You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. But, so when you do them ones where it's two, do you like write that and then film all the lines on that one? Or, then, or do you not even write... When it's two, what? You know, if you're doing, like, a conversation... Yeah. And you'll have two different outfits on. So will you just say the lines of one guy, film that, say the lines of the other, change your top, and then splice yeah. them together? I don't re I don't like putting too much effort into them, so I don't change outfits that much. Right. I'll be wearing the same thing, because I have the thing where I'm like, if you put on a wig, you're trying too hard. Do you right. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's if you order a wig online, that's sad. That <laughs> 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 it's already a bit sad talking to yourself in your bedroom. Like, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. think if you're all the wig online, you've got to be getting paid for it. You what? You're all the wig online, you've got to be getting paid yeah. for it. Yeah, some of them that are smashing it. They're like some of them are just like they are like funny. You have a sponsored one, guys. I'd accept the wig. Yeah. 
I'd watch it on Fair Plays. <laughs> yeah. like, there's money coming in. But if you're sitting in your own room, he's like, oh, I just thought I'd do this. It's like, no. Uh, no but I, I just see everyone down and go, like, I can't. It's done now. And then someone else will do it and it's gets traction now. from it. I go, it's done. I, I, I uh, can't do yeah. it. I think that with but every, everything that exists in life, you know, like, you think, it's oh, done. There's yeah. no, one else, no one else is going to be a stadium filler. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. someone does it and you're like, like oh. I couldn't, if I film myself doing a phone conversation, I'd be like, but this is it's done now. Mm. So if this isn't successful, you're going to look, this is going to be horrid. I know what yeah. you mean. I always have the thought, like, oh, by the time I'm ready to have a comedy special, comedy specials won't even be, like, a thing really Yes. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. There'll be some other, like, new level of stuff. Every cunt will be on YouTube. It's like, oh, well, no one's going to watch mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need urgency, don't you? But that's just hard to come by. You need something to really shake you. Mm. Did you ever Do you ever get shook? You need talent and drive as well, Sam. <laughs> but what? When you started doing them. Yeah. Were you ever, sh- was there a, sh- a shook moment where you thought, fuck, I need to do something? Or did you start doing it for fun or something? Well, it was during the pandemic and I started putting things out. And then uh, and then people would rip you for it. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jamie, Jamie had comment on things <laughs> going, did you play both characters yourself? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I did see them and He's thought, what's this cunt doing? Stuff out, <laughs> you? Yeah. Like, what's this cunt posting this yeah. one <laughs> And now look, fucking flying. Mm. Oh, it's toxic, isn't it? Yeah, like I say, though, you need talent and drive to do a bit as well. Mm. Like you're saying, oh, you're saying I need to do stuff, but we're fucking miserable. Yeah, it's like how do you, how, how do you uh, transfer that onto a fucking little video? That's what I mean. It's getting something that it only works on stage because of the fact because of the the setting. Mm. Yeah, if you say the things we say on stage just to a camera, you look like you're gonna fucking kill yourself, <laughs> or you look like you're gonna kill your wife. So I was like, which one are you gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, he's a danger to his kids. Get the fucking phone. I need to find something. I need to, and I'm just waiting for that moment, that light bulb moment. Go. That's what I can put out with, like we say, as little effort as possible. Yeah. Like, what can I do? That's just like I was saying about this job. Is like, who was just speaking to? I was Michael Legg actually (laughs) was saying about like this job is like it's like stand ups like seems to be the littlest thing you can possibly do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and still earn enough money to live a life a little Mm. bit. That is like what else is there? Less than being a stand-up, <laughs> yeah. That you can earn day trading, but that's but then that's hard as well, isn't it? Yeah, like gambling is one. Gambling, uh, like, yeah. but then that studies form and like what is the what is below a stand-up work-wise? I guess like an influencer, like actually just that's hard though. No, they put a lot. Of, you to, to be fair, you have to respect the game, right? I guess like Molly so, yeah. May's sitting on the fact that she's had a baby for two weeks now. <laughs> yeah. It's like she's waiting for the perfect time to post it. Like I hate it, but part of me respects it. Mm. Like she's had that kid two weeks now And she's waiting to the financially best opportunity to post it She's getting all her fans just sitting there bubbling <laughs> Waiting to release the, the first mm. baby pic yeah. It's like, that's fucking And people are talking about it on Twitter I saw it on Twitter People saying, what day do you reckon Molly's going to announce the baby? <laughs> and someone said, oh, I read a book And she, she had in a book that Sunday's the best for um, oh Instagram Because you get the most interactions on a Sunday So I think it's going to be Sunday and, as the, and in the oh, end, oh, it gives me shivers. But yeah. in the end, I'm there checking her account on Sunday. <laughs> I went to her account five times on Sunday to see if she'd announced the baby. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but, but she's. But I'm fascinated now. I'm not and saying there's nothing to it though. But like, what's the legwork behind that? Like more than standing. Well, look at well, she we knows have when to post to for post starters. Anything, have we? Yeah. We post so we, one so clip a week. That's true. Yeah. Because yeah. we yeah. started off doing four, and then. We've, he got too lazy to find them. <laughs> I got too lazy to clip them, and now we've gone to one a week yeah. because uh, that's the minimal amount. We one every out. now and then. Yeah, <laughs> I make my podcast bi-weekly for the yeah. same reason. Yeah. The editing oh, is the most exhausting bit. Like uh, with, with, with stand up. All right, all right. It's the with, watching for him. <laughs> with stand up. It's the doing just it. Just the driving or transport, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, that's the worst bit. Yeah. And nice. comics will like pump up how much they work. It's like that guy's the hardest working guy in Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. means he's like, he's a the most gigs. Once you get, yeah. once you get, as hard as like a part time A workable 20 to 30, that's when it can become stealing a living, isn't it? Like when yeah. you go, like, yeah. Like, yeah, this but even then, though, work. you do that. And then when you see you got to do 30, you go, you fucking cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to do 30 on Saturday, yeah. and I was like, fucking milking this. 30s, fucking too. Fucking 10 in the middle. So make me, I've got to do more because you don't want to pay a 10 in the middle. Fucking milk and this, 30 you know? is too much, though, isn't it? <laughs> 30 is too much. 29 are done. That right. was out of spite. Well done. No, it's not well done because he told me I could have done 20 and got off. Really? Uh, yeah, but then I looked at me watching and gone, it's done 25 for fuck's sake. I might as well just finish it now. Mm. <laughs> it's too much for an audience mm. member. 
Watching, yeah. thir- watching 30. Watching <laughs> <sighs> well, 30. I want to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of TikToks to get through. Isn't it? <laughs> well, that's the crazy thing about UK comedy. Like, you know, in Canada, they don't fucking have breaks during the show. No. And it's either. just like, and life. now I look back at it and I'm like, how do we not? Like, if yeah. I were to run, when I, I did a show when I went in April for a visit and just booked some friends and then I closed yeah. it and I put a break in the middle because I'm like, dude, it helps your bar. They're fucking not restless yeah. through, through the second yeah. half. Like, it makes so much sense to have Trade that. The waitresses are trained quite well. When I've been, when I've been to America, and totally. the waitresses are trained really well, whereas ours are just fucking pains in the arse. Mm-hmm. Like even, like, some of the best comedy clubs, you still see them being, like, just dead noisy. Well, the bartender talks, like, full volume during the show. Yeah. And oh, shit. That, yeah, when, you're doing a, when you're doing a gig in a bar... And the bar staff, and you can't moan because they can't be asked to do anything. Give a fuck. They don't. They're chucking the ice around. On. They're chucking <laughs> yeah. the thing, and it's almost like they're doing out of spite. And you say to the show, "What can you just ask them to just be quiet for a second? And it's like saying, "Fuck you!" Like I'm in this job. Who the I hate fuck it. do you think yeah. you are? Yeah. yeah. And I was, then, like, I was, I'm, yeah. I was at a gig once where uh, yeah, you just kept getting like cocktail shake. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. my buddy oh. goes up there and he's like, I think we're good. And the first thing, as soon as he starts talking, I'm like, I'll have two margaritas. Right. Oh. He just fucked up his whole set with like this. Sh- 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 yeah, I don't get that. That'd I, be a boss way to heckle. Yeah. What? Just don't ever drink the drinks. Just leave them on the table. Yeah. But keep ordering the noise, like noisy cocktails <laughs> in the front row. Just see these comedians like, so you got more drinks? Yeah, I'll have a. Um, <laughs> what else needs shaking? Yeah, I'll have that. I just, <laughs> just eyeball a comic. I'm not drinking any of these. I just know you that noise upset you. Yeah, getting <laughs> getting the bar stuff, not giving a fuck about it. That's that's annoying. <sighs> <laughs> Kill me now, Lord. <laughs> You see, Tom, I like to let this energy come yeah. to the podcast because I think this is where you can get really funny when it gets when it gets to the point where you can just be open on there's, no there's no yeah. pressure at all to make this funny at all. And that's when you can get I like that. That, that yeah. hysteria can then come from sitting there going and you just look <laughs> <laughs> desperate to go say something. What have you got to say, yeah. Tom? Have you got anything to say? You say something honourable because you got... Tom's like me. Space. Tom's very... He can't be arsed with anything. I can tell by the energy yeah. already off Tom. He's very I'm laid back the three questions the, uh... that he's like, you're asking me that for? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the fucking fill here? Oh. <laughs> so how long have you been over, Jordan? Four, uh, four years now. Four, uh, 2019, yeah. Like how right could, how come you come over? A uh, bunch of reasons, man. Like, my girlfriend's, so she's French. I met her in Vancouver. She was on a visa. Right. We wanted to move together, but somewhere I could do comedy, and we mm-hmm. sort of just threw a dart and landed in Manchester. Mm-hmm. But, like, we were going to go to Dublin, but it's fucking so expensive. I didn't realize it until we started That would have been a places. bad move for your career, though, wouldn't it? I think so, in hindsight, yeah. Benny, uh, not Benny Boot, what's his name? Who's that? Damien Clark. He's in Dublin. Oh, um, yeah. Flies over, does all right. Mm, but there was that whole fucking thing on <coughs> thingy about when Freddie was talking about the scene in Belfast or something. Yeah. And then yeah. R- Rushton said something about being like they're all coming over trying to break the UK circuit. Don't or something. Start. I'm Rushton, <laughs> fucking idiot, man. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I think I, I like unwittingly picked the right spot for me. I mean, I just Manchester's like a good spot. Here. Yeah. So what was you doing in Canada, Com- uh, comedian wise? Uh, I mean, I, I only did my first three years there, so I was like starting to get right. a few paid things here and there, but nothing really. So you came over to Manchester just to do comedy, was it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's fucking mad that like. Well, because people don't realize like how fucking big Canada yeah, is. Yeah, so, like, yeah. You don't yeah. make your bones in one city. You can't like drive to the next city the next mm. night. Like Edmonton's like a twenty-four hour drive away from Vancouver. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, but, like England, doesn't... it's all just right there. So. I feel like most of the Canadian comics though. That, well. So that's Catherine Ryan. Most of them establish themselves and then come over, don't they? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I mean, for me, Vancouver just became such a fucking, like, toxic, awful place. Like, it was really, like... Here we go. Now tell us why. We're just a bad scene. I don't know, man. It's, like, Vancouver's this really, like, classist city that, like, thinks it's racist, if that makes sense. So they're almost, it thinks like, it's racist. Yeah, well, I mean, they'll always, like... Whatever the news story is, like, like for instance, when Donald Trump got elected, people yeah. went to Trump Tower in Canada and like protested, right? As like a show of <laughs> like oh, they're right. against Trump or whatever. But then it's got like the worst in homeless problem country. you've ever seen, and no one gives a fuck. So it's like yeah. I don't know. It's just a weird place, and it's really like gatekeeped, really like yeah, to a certain extent. Not that I I don't think I was being held back because I wasn't really good enough yet. But I know friends who were that were just like. Not in the cool crowd, so it's sort of the door shut. So the yeah. clubs won't book them. Yeah, shit like that. And then you'd see the worst acts you could ever imagine clubs. booked at the clubs. Like right. people like oh. six months in, 
that just know how to oh, network, wow. like getting up, and it was just awful. And so now there's no meritocracy at all there. Uh, I didn't find anyway, no. Right. And now two of those clubs are gone because of the pandemic, mm-hmm. so it's sort of like the scene's all chaotic and fucked now. So, do, is the, do you have any um, social media stars, comedian, comic wise in Canada? No, not really, man. Because like, like, it's not like the, the ideal to place to have done it as well. Because was North America all about making a name. Sort of, selling tickets before you like. If you notice in Canada, whenever anyone gets to a certain level, they go to fucking America. Like, mm. yeah, like uh, I'm thinking Norm Macdonald or Russell Peters or Jim Carrey, are like huge examples. But even like I'd notice that it's like headliners either stay in the one space forever or they go to America eventually. Yeah. But yeah. it's like there's only one real TV channel that shows it. Like comedy is not like a really beloved thing in Canada the way it is in the UK. What's like, like uh, the biggest difference between I don't know. The stand up from where you're from, so like say Manchester and like Northwest stand up. Well, I don't know. It's weird. Like I do like the comedy from Canada for the most part. I remember Nick Martinello, who's a guy from oh, yeah. Toronto. Yeah, he. Would I go- did his first gig with him. He's the one that came to the Freddie Quinn gig. Oh really? That fucking sawmill one. When he turned, he literally got off the plane and oh, did that gig yeah, in fucking yeah. the middle of Doncaster, where like yeah. the people were just having fights and quad bikes and stabbing <laughs> each other and that. And he was like, fuck, you know, yeah. I yeah. remember Nick coming over. He's we, back over there now, isn't he? Yeah, he's in like Halifax. He's always he's one of these guys that's always got like a new scheme or business. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's, he's <laughs> big on the date on the uh, the crypto, one. he? Yeah, big on that. <laughs> Saying he's getting new teeth on this crypto money. I, I see lo- on I love Facebook. How everyone <laughs> just went like radio silent on crypto, by the way. Like, yeah. Everyone lost their ass and now you just never hear about it. My anymore. crypto's fucking depressing, but you I don't even know to get into it, do you? Well, I, I got some guy got I got it from like three hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars, but I left yeah. it in. He said, "Take it out now because this fucking penny coin that yeah. you're in's going now. So you made two hundred fifty quid or whatever. Get out." And I went, "Nah, I'll keep it in for a laugh." And now it's like with <laughs> he's I've just been robbed basically <laughs> by some fella. So I was like, "Whatever, it's sound." So I only really bought it just to sort of keep it there and keep it then. Yeah, it's all absolute bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> you could, you did you ever go into the crypto thing? No, no, I'm too dumb. Yeah, no, same. Yeah, I always thought like I had a buddy who was really <laughs> into stocks in Vancouver, and he'd try to explain it, and it would just be like the brain. Well, I just... tried breaching the subject of the money on here the other pod, didn't I? And then it was like, because it, it, you know, when I was talking about death, how the yeah. world needs death. Mm. Right. I was just talking about how it's just all so fucked, but then I didn't know anything about the actual <laughs> thing. <laughs> so I was just yeah. basically going like I was watching a program on Netflix about like ninety seven percent of money is just digital. Yeah, it doesn't, mm-hmm. yeah, it it's doesn't. not real. Like yeah. not like you might as well just type into your phone going, I want eight million in my account, hit send and it's that's eight million now that I can then use a credit to buy stuff with. Totally. It's like, well that's what the banks have just done, is basically just gone fifty billion mm-hmm. send and that's ours now because there's no cost of making money. Because there's no central reservation or something now. Yeah. So that's what they did. That's why it all went fucked. That's why that Bernie Madoff guy is such a gangster. Yes. Like, I haven't watched I haven't that watched documentary. Yeah, only, only he, on the first thing. He yeah. just act like a bank and yeah. do that. Episode and a half, yeah. Just move around rich people's money. And then eventually it all just came that he was yeah. just completely This isn't real shit. money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's what they want to do in Wall Street. It's keep your money in because it's not real. They've lost it all. Yeah. And it's like, like, yeah, buy this, buy this, do this. Like, well, it's not even there. And a rich enough guy could just collapse the whole thing. If he's just yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm out. And then it's all fucked. Well, like, GameStop was, was that, um, that, that one, wasn't it? I yeah. watched that documentary as well. That was the best. That was good. He was yeah. going off the reds. Yeah. You just love watching rich people lose their asses, you know? There's something sad. Well, that's just because they go like, oh, we're going to get found out now that this is all bollocks. Yeah, but then mm-hmm. it's all upsetting though, isn't it? Because then, then you just get fucked in the end. Yeah, well, we're all fucked. They that's all the... win. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you realize like once it's like, oh, wait, they made the laws with a fail safe in case they got trapped. Like whenever a rich, like Epstein or whatever gets done in, it's like, oh, well, now he goes to a resort. Where he's like allowed mm. to come in and out of the prison, yeah. and he can have visitors. It's like, oh, they win. It, it was so end. fucked, aren't we? It's so it's funny how <laughs> fucked we all it's are. The fucking life in it. Like, yeah. like we're just so fucked. Yeah. Don't if you're poor, you it. just try to get rich. No, I don't, yeah. th- don't think about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what do you think about them when you go like? Because did, did I ask you off pod or when you want to retire? Oh, when I want to retire, I don't. Is this think off pod? Did you hear this conversation? No, no, I must have been. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I don't think about retiring. Like I always think I'll be. Uh, Is that when you I don't do fuck all now. I'd like to. I'd li- I like doing fuck all during the day, but I wouldn't. I don't think I'd always like do stand up or something. Do you know what I mean? Maybe mm. not as like seventy. That'd be depressing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> people yeah. always say that. I don't get why. Mm. Oh, come what? on, you can't stand in Rosie's nightclub at 70 fucking... <laughs> Why not? Getting heckled by four 24-year-olds yeah, going, come on, yeah. granddad, If you're off. touring now. 
we tore and that's nice like, theatre gig. Yeah. Yeah, if you do nothing. Yeah, that's back, okay. But you don't know you just you're talking about shit. Yeah, that, like, that might not you're happen. You're moaning about being seventy, do you know what I mean? But that not the same woman fifty like, odd years again. Like, a new I know thing I mentioned this on the Patreon. She thinks a piss now. I know I mentioned this on the Patreon about CK saying about like and there was an interview he did on this podcast and he's saying like it, it's like keep following your path and see what happens yeah. but after 25 years you'll know but then it's like it's just uh, you'll realize it's one big years, mistake yeah. <laughs> like yeah. he said he never got anywhere until he'd been doing it for like 30 years it's only just <laughs> gone good but he went like so keep trusting that but then it might take you 25 years Fuck to realise that. that it was all a huge mistake <laughs> and that's the fear that I think we all live with this thing of going like, oh, this is just a struggle for me now. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, it will just be a struggle until you're dead and you go, what a, what a mistake all of that was. Yeah. <laughs> and it's one of those... This is all it, just one big mistake. It's, I like, can't, it's like if anyone yeah. could do it, they would too. If everyone yeah. could make it like that, why yeah. wouldn't everyone do it? Yeah. yeah. There were plenty of people that just get to 68 to mm. little to no success or anything and then just stop and go well that was pointless yeah but you, you could do that with any job couldn't you yeah yeah I know but there's something about this job because it's just like you've promised the, w the, the world almost with it I think it's worse if you're like like a porn star or like a cage fighter or something like there's worse jobs to like dedicate yourself to not make it get... as a porn star yeah. 25 years in <laughs> <laughs> I've been giving it away for free well look, <laughs> look, look, look at Ron Jeremy fans around well look exposure. at Ron Jeremy he's getting done for like but he said he's too fucked in the head to stand for that um, yeah. It's assault, isn't it? Or something? Yeah, but he's sound now. He's, he's made. Mm. He can just kill himself. He'd be fine. Yeah, he'll do. Apparently, he'd just walk up to chicks and like start pulling his dick out or trying yeah. to finger him. And his, he had like a handler that was like, "Oh, not Ron, not yeah. now, Ronnie, not yeah. now." Ooh. Like sort of. That's just his like his. Well, the autopilot. porn world's just fucked, isn't it? Kevish was that, on the podcast. That fucks your your um, theory, that though. What theory? That you should, you'd be sick of it. You wouldn't be asked doing it. What Ron Jeremy's just trying to finger women. Just like, just just, just, <laughs> just walk around trying to finger women. Even like in the haze of dementia. Free. You know what I mean? But I know a guy that, that does like only uh, <coughs> you'll know him as well, but I won't mention this, but uh, um but he, somebody said that this they one were who not... also cuts hair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like Keegan and, and was telling me going like it's like bad. Yeah. Like he's, yeah, well, just he's, bad. he's, he's a sex addict, isn't he? Yeah. That's why. Mm. I want like, I want the documentary on it. It sounds interesting, you know. Which? Uh, Ron Ron Jeremy. Or sorry, was yeah, that what about? the Houston 500's a big one that you organised, wasn't it? What's that? Where that woman got gangbanged by five... I think it was like 460 <laughs> people. Yeah. But basically, just this one girl got just railed by 500 men. It's called she the Houston 500. random to turn up, did they? Well, just yeah, well, like porn stars or something, yeah. It's so that many? It'd be brutal. And like Howard I don't know whether it was 500 do exactly, but that's what it was called, the Houston right. 500. Like Howard Stern would do contests where you could like... Be in the lineup, like if you right. answer trivia, you'd be like guy number four hundred or whatever. Fucking hell! Uh, no thanks. That's that's like that's isn't that wild. how STDs are made? Like, <laughs> it's weird that you can only get STDs from people who have them. But I'm like, how are they being created? Like, you'd think five hundred person people shagging, shagging animals. Shagging animals. <laughs> <laughs> shagging, maybe that's the <laughs> yeah. that's the sacred line. Someone goes off the fucking beaten path, yeah. and that's that's what Someone happens. Just, yeah. <laughs> so you can fuck five hundred people in a day and be fine. Yeah, but, like but the minute I imagine that's least of a concern. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine trying to sleep that week. <laughs> <laughs> it is just wild that you would ever. Keep I wonder if it gets like relaxing after a while, like the rocking, like a baby in a car. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, They're it. all going different paces, yeah. though. Like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's um, slow down. An interesting headspace to be in as a, as a woman doing that. Wouldn't wonder it? if you were timed. I don't really know. I've, yeah, I've, I've watched it and really. clicked through, mm. and just sort right. of went and then I got bored because it's just like the time. Those ones like oh, I, I came, I never come out. Oh, Are you on a roller coaster? Did you put your hands up when you went down? No, oh, no, I wish I'd done that now. Come on, my photo shit. Oh. But it's one of those things it's like funny to talk about, but then if you saw an interview with that woman, it'd probably be like the most depressing thing you've ever seen. In yeah, your life. she's or like broken, a 10 years retrospective. Yeah, well, you interview like, someone after a gong show and they've just been gonged off for the two minutes. That's gonna be fucking depressing as well. Worse. <laughs> you gotta drive home. <laughs> Imagine the 500 guys were getting gonged by the porn star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And gong oh. shows aren't a thing in Canada either. I, I love no. that idea, personally. Like, yeah. Yeah. You've done many over here. Yeah, and I love... Well, I, I think I liked it because I did okay at them, but, like... Yeah. Because in Canada, like, the, the type five is all you want for, like, the first year or whatever because they'll still put fives on clubs and stuff. Right. So, so when I came over here, all I really had Cheating was really a solid five. Right. And then, yeah. A solid five. Fucking hell. 
Mm. Yeah, but then 15 minutes was like... What gongs have you done over here? I'm, I imagine you've done Beat the Frog. Just Beat the Frog, uh, the Comedy Store a few times. Did you do the arc? Before it went under. No. You and then the one arc, for no? Spiky Mike. Unless that's the arc. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's not... That's one for Spiky Mike. And one day Blessington Carriage, that one with the fucking light sticks and yeah, all that. Yeah, <laughs> with a little... Oh, God. That is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> better than a bringer, though. I don't know. Do you, I, st- you still with your oh bird? God, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been together for six years now. You survived the move over here? Yeah. We did it like a year in, so yeah, it would have probably fallen yeah. apart the first couple of years in England because she didn't really like it all that much in England at the beginning, and we were in don't this like fucking don't. awful housing share situation. So did she come over with you because you went, I want to go and do comedy, and she went, I'll come over and support that with you, or did she want to come to England herself? Or? Well, we were going to, yeah, just move somewhere new together and then try and make a go of it and sort of see where it is. and that, so. But then we were probably going to look to move somewhere else and then lockdown happened, and we really got dug in. Right. And now we're sort of put our roots in, and we're like, all right, well, right. now we have an agent here. And what does she do? Uh, she's working at McVitie's. It's like a oh, free biscuits. Cool. Admin, yeah. Bunch of biscuits. Uh, well, I was working there as a fucking, like, machine cleaner in lockdown. But yeah. I got her in. And then after, like, two weeks, they were like, I don't know why you're Aaron Wood worked at McVitie's. He got it. me in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me in? <laughs> Yeah, I needed a job really bad, and he suggested it. But she was, like, so overqualified. <laughs> <a> fucking biscuit <laughs> packers, that's all we are. Yeah. All the comics in the North. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> McVitie's <laughs> housing the talents of the Northwest scene. It's depressing. <laughs> can you eat Everyone doing Jacob's bits. You can eat your canny mention. off the production yeah, line. Yeah, you do, definitely can. That's bad, that, innit? Mm. Can you bring a cup There's of tea? Sweaty comedians. <laughs> and that stinks of arse picking your McVitie's. Oh. Yeah. No, but if they see a peanut in the place, they'll fucking shut it all down. Oh, really? Shit like that. No peanut yeah. factory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just bring a peanut in just to get like, the time off. Yeah, exactly. get the What's it like working at McVitie's? Oh, it was miserable, man. It was miserable? It really, oh. like... Well, because it was like... Depends what biscuit it, you were packing that day. Yeah. But if Rich you remember, tees, August 2020 comedy sort of came back I bet Jacob for a bit. just fired, though, you know. Look yeah. after the staff. Right. Was, so me and Dan had, like, started a show in October, and we were, like, comedy was coming back. And then in November, they fucking uh, shut everything down again. And that's, like, the week I got my job there. Yeah. So it was, like, no comedy. The weather's gone shit. And I'm, like, doing this awful job, <laughs> like, cleaning chocolate machines. <laughs> it was just awful. What did man. you have to do? It just, like... <laughs> It would be like a 10-hour shift, three 10-hour shifts, and they'd be like, this is the machine you're on. Just do it until you're done. And sometimes you'd be done three hours early. <laughs> do it until yeah, you're and then, done. Yeah, you so you'd be done three hours early, and they'd just be like, just pretend you're working. They'd literally oh, be like, I love that. I love employers like yeah, that. Yeah, they're good, good lads now. Yeah, well, well, because they, they just have their hours. Sit they probably thought now. you were a cunt for finishing three hours early. ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Well, they have fucking their- slow down, you immigrants. <laughs> Get your immigrant mentality out of their fucking <laughs> yeah. McVitie's. Oh, there were a lot of immigrants there. I was one. <laughs> I, I was like the, the token You said that like guy. you were one. <laughs> no, I was the token yeah. white guy on Load the of Canadians. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really, yeah. So a lot of people that were just like desperate for so work. So you used to have like yeah. a power wash and wash it down, or do you have to get inside? And <laughs> oh, it dude, or like the scraper thing sometimes. Oh. Yeah, did chocolate anyone, off the rollers. Anyone ever get hurt? Uh, I think not. I never saw mentally. It, but I think yeah. it happened all the time. Yeah. Because there's a biscuit factory in Blackpool, mm. and one and you <laughs> see people from a uh, sixth form who work there. Mm. And one lad got his hand mangled. Yeah. Oh, that can oh. happen. Got, the, got like two grand. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> not not two grand and a crate of biscuits. <laughs> all the, all the skin ripped off your hand. Oh. To get some chocolate, oh. Cadbury's fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did. Give us the white ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have oh, one of those signs. Don't get like, greedy now. <laughs> Off you the, go, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they have you the sign the form, days. not our fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like this many days without incident signs. They have those everywhere. I do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then right. one day it went to zero, so I guess something fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you didn't know? <laughs> I didn't know, yeah. Like, sort of happened, but no one knew. They just kept it hush hush. That's good. No, it, that working with that met them big heavy machines. Fucking. Dangerous though. I, I remember used to, when I worked on the railways, and they used to pull us in every time. <laughs> Lost this fucking ad, so miserable. <laughs> Imagine losing your fucking hand working at a biscuit factory. Yeah. Uh, we, we, like, we, oh. we used to work on the railways, and they used to get us in to like staff meetings every time an accident had happened. And basically, nine times out of ten, someone's dead because you get a bad train, you're dead. 
Mm. And then we'd all have this five <laughs> summer minutes. <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have these five summer minutes. Oh, fuck so, who survived? Someone's died and now he's lost his family. It's all dead sad. And the next 20 minutes, that was, that was all his, his fucking fault. Right, <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes of, here's what he done. <laughs> Wrong. All right. Yeah. Here's why it's not right. us. And any of you stupid cunts carry on working like this, you're all going to yeah. fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Like just five minutes of, oh, it's dead bad. He's leaving behind the wife, two kids. Oh, it's tragic. Anyway, he shouldn't have fucking been there. The cones were out. He shouldn't have gone past them. <laughs> Silly cunt was on his phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sit in it, guys. Sit in it. Speaking of like... Sit in it. You sit know, you say two grand. <laughs> Have you seen that um, that baby with that Stepsis? Sepsis. Yeah. Sepsis. Not Stepsis. <laughs> Stepsis. Watching too much porn. Um, <laughs> so yeah, a baby with Sepsis went to hospital and they misdiagnosed it, sent it away. Fuck Said he just, said just had a cold. Lost all its limbs. Oh, my uh, God. 30, just a torso? Yeah, just a torso. 38 million, they got. 38 million? Oh, yeah. nah. UK or US? UK. Nah, that's... Oh, I can't believe that for UK. That's not... No, I... No. It's never that... Not worth UK. that. You can buy not some pretty cool it. robot No, arms come on. Losing all your limbs for 38 million. I'm not doing that. No? Oh, no, no. I wouldn't want to. But... That's it, nowhere near... No, that's awful. What, what you want? As a baby, I want you to oh. give me all. I want you to fucking Is get me some child, bionic. Li- yeah, but bionic fucking li- the best. None of these black ones. That's Thirty-eight million. You can do. Yeah, I know, but I want no on top. I want. I just want everything. Yeah. <laughs> and there's not. I want. I want. Death. I want the hospital. I want you to get fix me limbs, and then I want to watch, and then I want to cut your head off. <laughs> After but, you've done it. But by the time that baby's That's an adult, shocking. the robot limbs are going to no. be fucking off the... Yeah, and it won't know any difference. Maybe, yeah. maybe. That's got 30 <laughs> million. <laughs> you don't think so? Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I'm, the comedy answer might be something like that, but uh, as I said, I've, <laughs> tapped, <laughs> I've tapped out and trying to make it funny and just go, that's a disgrace. That is a fucking disgrace. Uh, I'm reckon, not happy about that story. I reckon there's Instagram, there's Instagram parents who financially gain from the kids on Instagram that would be up for that. Uh, imagine if that's how you thought. Fucking Mick Philpot. Oh. You scum one. <laughs> 38 million though. It's not worth it though. Come on. Yeah, but that's the babies, it's not yours. <laughs> you you, you, you <laughs> let all, your little lad lose all four limbs so you get 38 mil. Oh no. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it yeah. personal. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd let your child do it if I could get 38 mil. Well, that's not nice, is it? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Stops record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit. Take that present yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, by the way? It's my Christmas present. It's Christmas present. Oh, nice. It's just a nice Star oh, Wars just, beer. Just two months yeah. later. I don't think it's nice. What? Lovely I'll that. You know. I'll put it in the fridge. Get, 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 get cold, tastes you know. nice. Um, I'm sure I'll drink it when I'm in one of my depressive states and I'm drinking myself into a stupor. How was your mental health? <laughs> you all right? Yeah. How was yours? She eyes. Um, <laughs> 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 I thought you were going to be upset then, but yeah. you're not. Mm. Double thumbs up, no use for the pod. Well, you know. Yeah. What a tortured artist now. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, well, I, don't, I don't think about anything. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, 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 just, yeah. I've anything don't about, think about anything about upsets me, I like, don't think about it. And, <laughs> yeah. then, and then one day I'll all combust. Yeah, you one day you'll kill yourself. Now. Yeah. That's right, the, yeah, that's yeah. your yeah. method. That's yeah. the British yeah. way of it. You'll, you'll kill that. yourself with your ass cancer, that's what I think. Right, you, you like are... When shit, when shit happens, just as the country, they'll just ignore it for a day, and yeah. it's like it never happened. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Weird. Well, how do you deal with it? I don't know. I guess I am the same way, but I'm a comic, I mean... I've noticed people more and more in Canada, if that makes right. sense. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to quantify that. What do you mean by, like, like, individually or as a country? Just people talk about it. Like, I'm trying to think of, a uh, like, COVID. As soon as COVID was done here, it was like, we're fucking doors shut. We're not looking back on it yeah. as a country. And I like that. Yeah. But in Canada, it's like they still winch on about it. Like, it's still a... Uh, oh, like, me nan died, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, or, or yeah, just stage bits all the time. Yeah. You notice I never hear anyone doing COVID bits anymore. Got bored after a while, though, didn't they? That's yeah. why. It's just like I a to, setup. I have to remind myself of what it was, generally, because I always, because <laughs> I blog everything out. Someone mm-hmm. says, like, lockdown. I'm like, what? And then <laughs> yeah. like, I, have to, I forget the time. It's really weird. Yeah, you I really COVID's messed <laughs> with with t- years and knowing what years it was. Like, I yeah. still go, was it 2019 or 2020? 2020 yeah. was the shutdown, wasn't it? But well, that year went by so quick. Like, it went by like nothing. I felt. Good year. I, I really enjoyed it, too. I d- I'll be honest, I enjoyed the first one. It was dead sunny, lying in the garden. Oh, great. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
lovely time, and then after that was a bit shit. I've well, had enough money to just do nothing. That's the thing, isn't it? Do fucking yeah. Money. I was uh, I was on furlough from Cafe Nero. They were just bankrolling. And you worked for Cafe Nero as well. I did when I first got oh, here. Yeah. Nice. How much furlough was you on? It was eighty percent of my wage at full oh. time. Was you on a full time contract? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. Oh, it was miserable. <laughs> They're job, making though. noise. <laughs> I didn't get oh. furlough. I, saw, I, had to uh, work, I, I was to fucking work. gutted when I, I never self employed. You took a fuck all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, oh. don't pay tax. Oof. Got fucking nothing. Uh. Richie, eighty percent of whatever you declare. Fuck. All yeah, them fuck furlough all. people. I think they should have to pay like double tax now. The furlough <laughs> lot. Did we all yeah. furlough? No, no. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 Would, no, no. Did you do? Um, yes, you was. I wasn't so full. <laughs> did you not go in? I went in like once a week and then it, it gradually came back. So even oh. during like the pandemic? But obviously, but, that, that, but I've been living a life on, but I needed stand up. Oh yeah, remember yeah. you, t- you, you telling me this? Yeah, it was in crisis. You'd be like, well, yeah, I'm full. Yeah, I'm some f- people are thinking, oh, this is great. But I'm like, no, no, I, I we're in the same job. And they're thinking, this is great. We're doing all right. Us, because they that's all they're getting anyway. Yeah. Mm. The best of times was I was like, I, I fully, fully need stand up <laughs> like my life was dependent on it and, I, and it's just like i'm the thing this is just awful and like that's why i was so against like masks and everything and all this because i was like it's directly ruining my life like if i didn't do stand up i'd have been fucking cursing any fuck about that I didn't have a mask on because it's like why not just sort of do in it just get pissed off at someone for something sort of, why yeah. wouldn't you want the time off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just and the minute like, your money's been hit, you fucking selfish. Oh, I had Christ. some fucking... I had, I, there was one woman in m and that just was fucking always fucking on it with the mask. And I was like, <laughs> so annoyed thinking all these fuckers are ruining my life. I only liked the break because everyone had to take the break, you know? Like, if it was just something know, with me... but you're just watching your money dwindle. And yeah. I was just drinking and playing poker and losing it even faster than I would have been. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, though. I never... Because be, right before lockdown, I had no money coming in from college. Comedy. So for me, it was like, I get this furlough. I have no gigs money anyway. So I'm just going to chill it. for yeah. Yeah. months at a time. Well, I, I got me, because um, when besides from comedy, I have a school contract where I take kids into school. So I, I still got paid that, even though they were going to school. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got paid that. I <laughs> need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah. Sometimes you do with me. You don't, <laughs> don't know me well enough, Tom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dodgy man. <laughs> Financially, <School>. not. School. <laughs> trafficking them. <laughs> All that stopped you on the yeah. pandemic. Fucking LP devices wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> um, I never thought of that. Must have been <laughs> hard for the pedos. Like. Well, I imagine everyone had, like, everything, everything went online. Oh, the, yeah. oh, the family business the class. Yeah, pit my kids. <laughs> Live stream took off. <laughs> a couple of them set up an OnlyFans. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, that carried on. So I was still getting like beat. My bills were still being paid. Mm. My wife's a teacher, so she was a uh, she was on the full wage. Yeah, she, well, she was during the pandemic, definitely. Oh, so uh, all that was coming in it was lovely. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. <laughs> Meanwhile, was he was had to kill himself because yeah, can't afford. Can't afford the bougie life I've become accustomed to. <laughs> Did you have a few arguments with like staff about masks? You know, like, <laughs> no, in, not really, yes. because everyone that was willing to come in was sort of a bit sound with it. No, I don't mean not colleagues like going into like say, you know, shops. Oh, and staff stuff, like shops. Oh, yeah. well, no, but I'd, I'd sort of loosely put my scarf around my face and then let it drop as a sign of fucking <laughs> thing, and then she'd be coming over. And, oh, but you know, I'm like, oh, fucking chill out, would you? <laughs> Not that fucking bad. Chill out. No one's dropping dead, are they? Did you buy yourself one of them sunflower? Like, I had that. Well, you've seen my phone, you, haven't you? Your phone, yeah. My phone, I haven't changed yet. Is, is the, I'm exempt. <laughs> 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 Just flashing it at people as you walk past. I mean, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not, I, I couldn't give a fuck either, but you know I me, mean? I'm ambivalent to everything. No, I, just like, I just don't. You wore one of them lanyards, and then everyone's like, "Oh, she's all right. She, she she's not doesn't have to wear one." No one yeah, actually checked yeah, what was yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I had mates knocking them out for fifteen quid. Oh, really? <laughs> Buy a lanyard for fifteen quid. What before. about you for the pandemic? What were you were you asked or were you? It, well, when they first got strict about masks, that you was get, annoying. Yeah, I remember being in McDonald's and then being like. Put a mask on and, being, and being sat at a table. Don't give a fuck about me health. Yeah, exactly. Being yeah. <laughs> sat at a table and then being like, I'm sat at a table. Like, yeah, about to eat chicken on. giblets. I would have put, I didn't have one. Yeah. Uh, and then some uh, 
Yeah. It was annoying, innit? So I had to do that. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just doing that. And then, uh, yeah. Because it, I don't know, I was going back and forth with the guy for a bit. And then this. <laughs> this, this, this <laughs> for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was ages. How long you doing it for? I'm sat down. Yeah. Who's <laughs> coming in a minute? Like that. And then. Um, having a meal? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the way a mask I'm having a meal. Yeah. And then I do that, and then a woman goes. Uh, the, the rules were fucking mental, weren't they? Just so yeah. arbitrary, yeah. just out of nowhere, like just some of the shit is one, going on. Once you sit, you can take the mask off, but only in groups of six. <laughs> so it's mm. like, oh. oh god, groups of six. <laughs> what do you want it? It's good, isn't it? The nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> the best one was when I, I did Top Secret, and the, just as they were lifting the restrictions, or yeah. I just so happened to have a weekend there, mm. and it, just, it was like that thing where groups of six, all from the same household, <laughs> and it was just like, like the, the whole crowd yeah. is just clearly. <laughs> A WhatsApp group of mates coming to it. It's like, this is an absolute farce. Oh, when None of us give a shit. When they said you can carry on working if you're in construction. Oh, yeah, that so, was a big one for so the all, fucking... So all my dad's mates painted his house. Yeah. So they all just oh, put, like, hilarious. not a lick of paint went on a wall. <laughs> they all just went around and painted, like, they all just put overalls on and drank cans in the kitchen. Well, I, I live right across from those massive skyscrapers they're building in Manchester, yeah. right in Deansgate. And I remember thinking, like, when the full lockdown happened in March, I'm like, this will only be serious if big businesses fucking take it yeah. serious. And within two weeks, the yeah. construction guys were back on the thing. Not oh, yeah. Mass, like, yeah. yeah. And so at that point, I'm like, well, who gives a fuck then? Let's just, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Roll the dice. I also didn't know anyone who died, so I'm sort of like, and I didn't get COVID uh, till like, way after the fact. I just think people are uh, just bored first, and they just want something to fucking. When it first happened. Is that me? So well, my, like a, a rule to follow. Yeah, they just yeah they just love it when they get yeah. something yeah. to just tell it's them just what to do. Something to judge, isn't it? Mm. Something else they can judge people. Yeah, on. it's just that's another way to have a fight because we're all yeah. angry. Well, that's why it was so shitty in Canada because that's how they are always. Like it's all just passive aggressive judgment and shit. <laughs> and so that's <laughs> I why thought you were all lovely. No, it's all alignment. Because think about it: if everyone's polite, then like half of them are full of shit. You know, and yeah. they say all Canadians are polite. It's like mm. well, that can't be true because no one's all polite. So mm. it's just all bullshit. And now, like, when they were trying to pull out a lockdown, the people were like, no, we need to stay in lockdown and shit. Oh, God. And I had friends that were like, well, I'm going to, ki- like, I can't live here anymore. But some people love mm. the lockdown, don't they? They just love mm. the lockdown, so you can see why they want to keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, I remember, like, that was, I think that was one of the turning points with me, was when they were, like, sort of lift and lockdown, and people going, they're doing it too soon. Yeah. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> Are we trusting yeah. them or not? Yeah. Because like, he either... We trust they put us into lockdown, and we're trusting them that they're doing the right thing then. But and now we're saying we don't trust. Which one do we do we trust? Well, we do like? have respect on them fucking the country, though, don't we? Yeah, but we've got a little bit of respect for the for the Tories for like how brazen they were about fucking everyone. <laughs> yeah. Like you yeah. gotta you gotta you gotta give them credit where credit's due to have the front to just literally go. <laughs> and what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I told you that. that yeah. I, I can't imagine me being in that position and not doing the exact same mm. thing. It's like the stage. It's like the parties they were having all getting on gear and everything. It's just like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, like, like say none of us give a shit. Well, I was we? doing that, though. That's, 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 I, I'm, I'm so lefty and so socialist and, like, Liverpool fucking hate Tories. Mm. But I, I, I've yet to see them do something where I wouldn't think. Besides from the NHS, I've yet to see them do something where I think, I'd do that. <laughs> I'd do that. Yeah. It's like try and get away with as much tax I can now. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I only give contracts to the mates. I've got loads of my mates a job. Yeah. I only buy drugs off people I know. Yeah. Um, Hancock going on celebrity. Yeah. yeah. Fair play to you. Throw me yeah. enough yeah. money. Fucking yeah. the best is you see they come out of it. Ten grand out of his three hundred and twenty grand. He's doing it for charity. <laughs> Ten grand out of his three twenty. He's give to whatever. Some dyslexic as well. I'm doing it for the charity. Close to my heart. Dyslexia. Fuck off. It's funny yeah. seeing the ones that support them though. Squirm when you, you just go like this, and they're yeah. going, and you know when they're going like they they know it's like that's bang yeah. on, but yeah. they've gone. Well, they, they didn't it, know. Yeah. They yeah. just tried the best. Well, it like, oh, I don't yeah. care. Like, oh, yeah. How much fucking it? No one else could have done better. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. yeah that's mental. Like, the people who like them. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do mad things. Can you not it. see the contempt that they, yeah. they have for you? And you go, yeah, but they're quite, he's an all right guy. Yeah. Point yeah. out. Like, <laughs> but then you're also sick of hearing people say like this as well. I'm yeah. sick of hearing this as well. Yeah. Well, it, does, it reminds me of the States right, at, right after like, 9-11, yeah. man, where it's like, the government's just there to capitalize on whatever situation it is. So it's yeah. like, 
They saw that happen and they're like, well, how can we make as much fucking money as possible? <laughs> yeah. And then it's like the same thing where they're in Iraq, Iraq two years later and everyone's like, well, they, they didn't even do mm. that. So why are we there, you know? Mm. Not to kill the podcast here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I think none of us know what we're talking about, do yeah. <laughs> I, I think it made me real. I've always been quite like naive about how much money is floating about. Do you know, like, what, how many billion was wasted on that PP yeah. stuff? And you're like, you just had that to waste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's sort That's of it's all just bullshit. Though, yeah. That's when they go, like, oh, there's no magic money tree. It's like, oh, it's Banks just type in what there, balance there they want. The, yeah, <laughs> there is a magic money tree. There. It's just it's all not for kids. bullshit. It's more for, like, yeah. yeah. Because that money doesn't go nowhere. It lines people's pockets, you know? It's, like, somewhere, but I don't know. No magic money tree for the NHS, yeah. Well, it will be when it's private, so. But that's what I hate about it is, like, then we're in the rat race of, like, I just want to have enough money to not worry about money. And then yeah. suddenly you're rich, and then it's like, oh, I guess I'm part of the problem. Like, But that's the only goal, you know? There's no way to, like, fight it. It's like, so I got to sort of become a part of it. Yeah, yeah we that's it. we're not going to do nothing, are we? No. It's, that's why I, I look at things and, like, I see the French writing and go, Wish we had that about us. No, nah, we don't. Love to fucking riot. No, nah, we're just a Not doing it on my own. Snides, now. Aren't we? Yeah, well, no one can be bothered, can they? No one wants to be the first one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want to do it on my own. own. Yeah. Just decapitated. Come on! <laughs> 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 you said you'd meet me. She's just lashing your Big Mac at the start. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing that for, your tits? <laughs> well, it's a revolution! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rioting. <laughs> News reporting on it. Just walk out of Tesco with a telly. What do you do with rioting? Yeah. Some arseholes just kicked the bin over. It's like that Tiananmen Square guy, you know? Oh, Makes yeah. for a good photo and then he's just gone from the face of the yeah. earth. No one's ever heard of him. Everyone again. tells you, everyone tells you, go, oh, you know that monk who set himself on fire? I'm like, yeah, well, I'm not setting myself on fire, so fuck it. I'll wet myself. All <laughs> <laughs> the water. Yeah. Like the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ah, take that, Hancock! <laughs> <laughs> take that, Hancock! And you know they're just watching and going, you fucking tit! Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> they're just sitting there passing the phone around going, look at this bell end, trying to fucking do something. <laughs> take that, Hancock! <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> like Boris sitting in his house going, why are the stupid cunts listening? Yeah. That's that's the thing, though. No, uh, Boris has been sitting there going, why are they fucking listening? Mm. Who's li who's listening to this? And then like, yeah. my favorite is when he like didn't believe in COVID and then went to the hospital and like shook everyone's hands and got COVID. And just immediately came down. I'm like, man, if he died, that would be so fitting in that moment to like, yeah. see, see what happens when you don't listen. Mm. Oh no, that was all bullshit. That though, I don't even think he was sick, me. You think? Probably not. Probably just wanted to keep it's it low profile cool. from his wife, innit? A little, get a little yeah. week off. Trying to stay out of that. Yeah, stay out of the Doesn't have to get questioned by the media for the week. Like, yeah, tell him I'm in hospital. Because so. he went to a private little hospital that no one else goes to. The bus thing was funny, though. I can't remember exactly what it was. You know that he's talking about the bus? Well, the Brexit thing, you mean? He was talking about a painting a bus, wasn't he? Or he liking something <laughs> into yeah. a bus. I can't remember what it was. It was fucking funny, that. <laughs> oh, to, I can't remember. He was talking about painting a bus. Or something. Yeah, it was, it was funny. Like, it. it was funny. Um, question. Shoot. Oh, no, I was asking. <laughs> you had to ask me one. Um, oh, do I have one? Yeah, you got any questions? I've um, never done that before. Did you, uh, did, you ever call, uh, did you ever call in sick with fake COVID? Uh, I can't say. <laughs> I've, I've cancelled plans and, and rearranged things because COVID, because of COVID, yeah. I remember the first one, like, the first week when it started kicking off. <laughs> holding work just notice the tattoo welcome to hell yeah that's me baby <laughs> <laughs> I called him work and I was giving symptoms that weren't even COVID like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did that with fake symptoms where I never faked COVID because I'm like it's going to come around to bite me like I'll have to do something with someone who knows yeah, I fake right. COVID and it'll blow up That's in my face. I know. That was it at the beginning. It was like, oh, do you know anyone who's coughed or anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And that I'd was like, so oh, funny. My, my Has anyone shown tickly. symptoms around you? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, my dad was sick on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, you, you could tell a difference between introverts and extroverts, though, like you say. All the introverts were like, get in. Perfect excuse to cancel anything. Mm. No, the extroverts just fucking fuming that anyone's canceling plans. Mm. I'm, I'm an extrovert. I was just fucking kicking off every five minutes. <laughs> fucking just don't worry about it. Fuck off. Like, oh, I was around someone with sniffles last week. He's like, you fucking get a test now. 
hope I never have to do a test again. I don't understand why people still test them. Are they? Yeah, yeah people yeah, still do. Some it. people are still test them. And when <laughs> it blows my mind, people tell me, like, oh, yeah, I took a test. I was positive. I was like, why would you take a test? No. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is the benefit of testing? Mm. It's like you're sick, whatever. You can still fly with COVID. Like, it doesn't really yeah. matter. No one's asked anymore. Are you chapped? Yeah. Oh, triple or double or what? Double A. Double A, I'm, tri- I'm triple, mate. That third one. Got the third one to go on all <laughs> said, fuck it. <laughs> well, the, 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 the near you, they said they were doing spot checks on the third one, so I just got it. Mm. So you just so I can go away. I would have done. It's the only reason I got to go, to go on all day, uh, like. No. They weren't pushing the third one that much. No, but it was in, like, the little... Yeah. It was the other countries. That's the only... Like, Spain was, like, saying they spot check it and you only had two then. Yeah, Canada's so like again so strict that I had I knew I had to go back, so I just kept uh, up on all of it. But yeah. the first one fucked me up big time. Like uh, the first shot, I mean, like the next day I was oh, like ruined. Fine. It was weird. Fine. What's the tattoo? Welcome to hell. Mm. Yeah, it says tass- "Welcome to hell" on my arm. <laughs> That's it. Is that it? There's nothing. You just fancy that on your arm. Yeah, that'll be quite cool. When did he get it? It's an interesting one to go for. They're like, like, oh, like four years ago or something. Welcome to hell. Losing a two up, two down with his beard. Yeah, it just seems like a <laughs> dangerous. Welcome to hell. It's quite. I thought it was quite funny. What, what are you driving? Twenty-year-old golf. Welcome to <laughs> hell. Bond, you What colour is your golf? Black. He's right. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I call it smoky. 20 years is old, like, son. Mm-hmm. Three door, five door. Three. Mm-hmm. What's with the croc? The croc symbolise anything? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> no, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> no, Peter <laughs> Pan. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the crocodile. Nice. See, I always got vibes from you. I, I think I told you, didn't I, that I always thought you were like an actor turned mm-hmm. stand-up. Yeah, and you yeah, weren't. Yeah. You were just a regular, just a bloke, just an odd, <laughs> yeah, just an odd bloke. Because like, because he's got like quite a, a distinct look. It's and just he's the odd bloke at the pub that I talked to himself. That's all <laughs> yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was like an actor type. No, it's just one of your mates who do voices. But he's like just a legit, like just one of us, just normal fucking freaks that got into it. Mm. You weren't an actor, were you? you just got no. Off the streets. I did improv and shit in oh, high school. And pathetic. Stuff, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> tough to imagine. Canadian cunts, man. Improv. Evan, De- we had Evan Desmarais. Desmarais, but we'll call him Desmarais. I don't know why I keep it. Anyway, Evan, uh, Evan, we had him on. And he said he went, to, he went to comedy college. Oh, is that a thing? You tell me. I, 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 I'd not heard of that, but uh, I mean, I never even went to Toronto because so. Uh, yeah. That's where most Canadians are. Into your wrestling? Oh, yeah. Big time. Non stop. What, what is it about? Rest. Do you like going to the black events in Guild Halls as well, or do you like just no. go into the main stuff? I used to be way more into it. I don't know. It, it was like With I got single into mums who can't afford to go to the arenas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Like, you know the, the Guild Hall ones. Yeah. Sessions. The Guild Hall put on one, and then it's just like all a bit mad. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, do you enjoy be, them? Fellas would be good to throw themselves at the top row. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, as a thing to get like drunk at and just watch, you know, like the you're drunk at them. Yeah, yeah. If you're at a wrestling show, why not? You get involved like heckling that, or oh yeah, that's the best part. Just yelling shit at people and stuff, taking it too far. Now it sounds like Sunday League. Now it sounds like yeah, I might want to get involved now. What's like a typical heckle? Uh, get your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Suck him off. Get him out of yeah. here. <laughs> You'll get the chance, man. Like the yeah. shut the fuck fat up. Cunt. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. But you'd have to know your the storyline, wouldn't you? Yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Wrestling was like, because like, I'm born 1990. It was the coolest thing ever. When I was the kid, Stone Cold, The Rock, Kane, Undertaker, yeah. was, Triple H, I, I Kurt Angle, there. Mick was, Foley. Was, mm. And then after that, John Cena's here. Oh. Yeah, they went super PG and you couldn't yeah, bleed anymore. And Corporate. they made the women wear clothes and stuff. And it was like, well, <laughs> I'm not in. WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> What's your favorite WrestleMania? Jeez, uh, 17. Or no, 19. In What's your favorite wrestler to wank to? Jeez. Uh, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, yeah. China. China. <laughs> she had that sex I, tape. I, on, yeah, she she was in Channel Playboy. Life. She's a big like strong yeah. Full Playboy spread. Yeah, she when had she a was massive clit. Jack, yeah, man. she did have a massive clit. You're right. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No, Looked no, like no you thumb. are right. Fair's fair. Fair's fair. I love it. Was called One Night in China. Yeah, I might watch that when I get in tonight. Chris Benoit. Oh man, Chris Benoit. I met, I met him. Did you? Yeah, it was excellent. Autograph signing. Was Benoit Crippler Crossface? Yeah. 
It's fucking tiny Jack. So they yeah. don't have his own, yeah. so don't have his own kids. Chavo yeah. Harrell. <laughs> I yeah. love saying that. Chavo who found Chavo him, I think. Chavo Eddie, 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 Eddie Aguero. Eddie Aguero. With his... Uh, didn't... So he died and then... No, he was with China, wasn't he? Who? Eddie, Eddie Aguero. They were on TV, but not like... Uh, Eddie Cordy died as well, didn't he? Yeah, he's dead. I don't think they were a real couple. No, 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 not in real life. But I mean, on oh rest. yeah, he was like in love with her and shit. There was a wrestling Stephanie couple. McMahon's low key. And then when he died, Dang. his like missus got into it, didn't she? Who? Eddie Aguero's missus got into it. Aguero yeah. or Guerrero? Yeah, and, like she was. He was way out of her league, you know. Like if you seen Guerrero's wife, she's nothing to look at, and Eddie yeah. is like this, you know, stud. Yeah. But well, <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Like, Come on, dude. Eddie still, Guerrero. Yeah, but he's wrestling. He's five for five. That's <laughs> not, yeah. Jack them. So juicy. When heart, you like, see exploded. a wrestler next to a regular bloke, that's when you really notice how fucking big they all are. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like when you see, I used to see like, like, like just like two regular wrestlers. Like you'd look at like someone who's just a regular size and think, oh, he doesn't look that big. But then mm. you stick like when you get like a celebrity to go in the ring and you're like, oh, fucking hell. They're like, all fucking meatheads. Mm -hmm. Like someone like Edge, for example, yeah. looked quite slim compared to some of them. Yeah, these But like you stick next like to Edge next five, to something, he's yeah. like six foot four and fucking thick as anything. You think, oh, they're all like fucking yeah, like, juice heads. Huh? Like Edge in here would be noticeably the biggest guy in yeah. the room. You'd be like, oh, fuck. Like guy's... Batista was a big fucker, wasn't he? And even when, when yeah. you met Benoit, like fucking... when I met Benoit, he was like only 5'9 or whatever. Was he? He's so Where fucking did you meet him? jacked at Toys R Us. Nice. Did you have that bit about him? Like, could you tell it was coming? Dude, it is weird in hindsight. Like, it's like he's he just, does look crazy. He, he doesn't constantly he? left to go chain smoke, so that the autograph signing took forever. Like, he'd go outside, smoke two cigarettes, come back in, just shake your hand. He looked all stoic and shit. Yeah. How long ago was that? How long before it, it all happened? May, before Mania nineteen, which would have been like two thousand. And then when did he do the murder suicide? Two thousand seven. Was his kids with him in Toys R Us? No, I don't think so. Maybe. It's fucking heavy, that, though, wasn't it? Maybe that's why you fucking right. fume. <laughs> well, I'm totally like, where the fuck me kids? Well, and there's all these diehard fans who are like, no, he didn't actually do it. There's this other... Are they in denial this still? bad guy wrestler who he feuded with. They think he, like, killed his family. Oh, God. And then framed him <laughs> for it. <laughs> that would be interesting, though. That would be, like, decent story. Like that. Getting back. Well, it's a weird one, man, because... So, not to go too off the rails here, but so his wife used to be married to this wrestler, Kevin Sullivan. Right. Who is his character was like this cultist sort of weird cult leader guy, and yeah. so she legitimately left him in real life for Chris Benoit, and yeah. then he went on to murder her and shit. So now everyone's like, it's Kevin Sullivan. He actually was like a tied to a cult or whatever, <laughs> and killed him and shit. But it's like it's just a TV character. Mm -hmm. So now Kevin Sullivan's had to be like, I didn't murder these people. Like I don't know what the fuck. Because <laughs> there's also just you know fans are never willing to let go of anything. Like yeah, yeah. Jacko like, fans and that they're nuts, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And they're just like, no, he didn't do it. Or like like people who defend Cosby and shit. It's like there's some people yeah. who just he's touring, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's back touring. Imagine, would you see him? Bill's back. Um, free no. ticket. <laughs> would you go see Cosby? I, I don't see know. You know, just to see what <laughs> I, I would see, see what happened. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like him when he was good. No, I mean, me neither. No, he's a bit shit. out, out of our yeah. time, on he? But I think at the time he's... No, I don't like that piece of comedy or the... Yeah. Stand at the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just watch for a bit. I'd, you know what? I'd, I'd go and see him when I was playing a gig in the same venue. Like, <laughs> he's in the main theatre and I'm in the... I'm in the, 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 the one of Damien Larkins in the lobby or something. Uh, but what How if you bumped into him back? and then he went for, like, the handshake? And you'd have to be like... How's he coming back, though? Like, it's mad. Oh, I'd shake his hand. I'd shake loads of rapist hands. <laughs> It's inevitable, isn't it? You must not. Like, I must statistically, yeah. like you've like none that I knew at the time. <coughs> I mean, I just said I shook a. Fucking Only one thing worse than a rapist. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Someone that won't shake the hand of a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> That's just can't me stand either. them. <laughs> I don't shake his fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he did. Fucking shake it. There's me hand. There's me hand. Come on. <laughs> um, I always think about that, like because even like okay, not like a well, what? How many pedophiles have you come across? Not like a pedo, but if like a politician I really hated was just like, hey, I just saw your set, I'd probably just be like, thanks. Well, Thank I saw you. that because like Sean Walsh is just don't have a word that come out today. I haven't watched it yet, mm. but I saw they put a clip out where he tells a story about Matt Hancock, and I'm a bit like, oh, don't just how could you not? Oh. Part again. Even I just said, no one gives a shit. That's why. Yeah, but, but I, deep down, when you meet someone, you go, "You're probably not." I'd like that to bad. think. I'd like to think I would wouldn't talk to. Him. I know, but it's the <laughs> system in it. 
and then you, he needed the PR. Just so you and him in the forest, you're not like, going to talk to him. One on one, most people are. I'd like, I'd like to, I'd like to yeah. go, go on there. Just what did you do? They're like, come on, I'll tell you everything I've done if you tell me what you've done. <laughs> like, go on. Yeah. Just see if he owned up to it, sort of thing. Yeah, no, I think one on one people are sad. It's when they get. Well, like, I like, how much have you made? Go on, how much have you in the side? Go on, tell me. Mm. Mm. Would, you, would you shake hands with OJ Simpson? He comes up to you after yeah. the gig. Innocent, mate. Like, I love, uh, love what you did there. Man, but he's gone jealousy. off his head, hasn't he? <laughs> he's gone off his head, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's always on Twitter. He's not yeah, off his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. He just, he has. No, he's not gone off his head. He just... <laughs> he's, kill he's, tr- <laughs> <laughs> he's lost it. He's, <laughs> he's carried on. He's Tom Bins. He's carried on like nothing's happened. Mm. Yeah. So he's taught. He's on Twitter doing videos like he's still everyone's OJ. From the golf Like he's still like, Mr. OJ. Like Juice. Didn't Tom Bins delete his Twitter? Tom, he's, no, he's only have to try and defend it. He's coming back. He's, he thinks he's coming back. He's not, I, I swear, it's, Twitter wasn't there anymore. Yeah, but That's he, crazy, man. But Maybe a, the police have suspended a couple of, it. A couple of days afterwards, he was... Telling people on Twitter, oh, it was nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that that yeah. is again. That's one way to deal with it. Isn't it? Go, like, oh, those old yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That feels like only yesterday's a, news, guys. <laughs> that feels like only a move that someone who did that shit could do. Yeah, like yeah. that's true. So like, shit I would, yeah. I, if I was falsely accused of that shit two weeks later, I wouldn't be able to be like, I'm coming back, guys. Like he just, he's, he obviously just thinking, yeah. if I can keep enough fans <laughs> to do a couple of tours, I can carry on making a living. So there's a few like, interesting things I've ever heard of, like some of his behaviours at gigs prior to it all coming out. That way yeah. that people have gone like, why is he well, doing that? Well, that's the same with Rigdon, though, isn't it? He did certain things he did on stage uh, that were like, why is he doing He's well, never like, done that before. We just started getting peed I don't know what it was, but yeah. Well, well they, they, we started a lot of non jokes, so yeah. try and put people off by yeah, being yeah, the yeah, yeah. I do love how after it comes Hide out, people always sight. have those stories of like, I always knew he was a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, I love, yeah, 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 I love yeah, when yeah. people are like, oh, he's rude to me. It's like, well, we're not talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, a lot rude. rude. <laughs> oh, yeah, but no, uh, that, that was my thing with Rigdon. When Rigdon come out and the drives come back, I was like, yeah, but you're still a knobhead. <laughs> like you, you're all right, you might not be in, in your missus now, but you're still a knobhead. So come mm. on, address that as well before you come back. Oh. And then he had to go at me on Twitter. I want to make you twice. I was like, yeah, but you're a knobhead both times. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weird thing about like comedy in that like it's a community in a sense that you do have to be nice to people and stuff. But then you, it almost feels like you're not allowed to just dislike someone sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Of like that. Like well, there's, there's, there's a comedy fraternity that you got to stick to, sort of mm. thing. But I'll get people message me like I know we don't like each other, asking for spots, and I'm sort of like, yeah, that must be rough being it's a, a booker. weird move, you know. No, you got to respect the game now. Got to get them a spot. I guess so. I not, think so. Not always. Not of their shit. Wouldn't you just ignore it? Yeah, well, that's what I did with this guy, but. Ah, no, I think you should give him a spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you should find out who it is first. I know, I'm, I'm just trying to make him give him a spot. <laughs> give him a spot, you saw lass. Yeah, oh, yeah? Come on, you got to respect the game. You, gotta, you know what it was just like. Just asking for spots. it, that's all it takes? Yeah. It's only an open mic night <laughs> above a pub, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's true. Hey, fucking hell. Um, I'll be gatekeeping an open mic night. Yeah, well, it's not an open mic. Isn't that fucking jokes? Well, I, open mic? No, I have two. It's weird, though. It's an annoying thing about UK, weird. like... <laughs> So, but, but, like, you know, the whole open, like, everything that's not, like, a pro club night is just an open mic, but, like, it's not, you know? Like, new material nights don't get factored into that. Yeah, if you're not paying me, you have no right to to, to call your night anything but open mic night. You think so? Yeah. I think it's, I don't know, if it's a bucket split or whatever with a few acts, like, you want to curate the line. If I'm not getting paid, then I think get to fuck. Right. <laughs> Put any old shit on. <laughs> yeah, but if you're, like, trying to build, like... If I don't get paid, I don't I don't stand up anymore. <laughs> really? I'll sit down, yeah. That's pretty funny. Actually, it's, 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 it's like a little floor. broker. <laughs> no, I get a stool, I sit on stage. I sit down. New material nights, I sit down, do my stuff. Yeah. But if you're booking one, you wouldn't book a shit act. Is he because falling over? Well, you wouldn't book a shit act just because it's a new material night. No, you know but I mean? then I would pep it with, with some shit act, yeah. Right. I think that's abusive, an open mic night, though, isn't it? Like, the, just the wildness. Well, he's trying to say it's not an open mic night. He's just... Well, I, then, ha- well, I, have, I have a thing night. about that, though, where it's like... Right, you're making by saying, "Oh no, it's new material, it's not over mic." Like, well, who's who's, ben, who's profiting from this? Right, I see what you mean. Like, like, it's like you're getting well, free if it's labor. a good, if it's a, it's a well by curated open mic night, then labor, the you know audience I mean? might be a better mm-hmm. audience for the open mic night for the the material. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my thing is, if you're if you're gatekeeping it to the point where I'm not putting him on because he's shit, it's like hold on, well, and you I should be paying like him because he's pay shit. the other act then. The act that you're not put, the act that you are putting on. Because you're rejecting someone. Once you rejected someone, if you're gonna, 
have the almighty sort of thing to go, oh, no, I don't want you, you're not good enough. No, he's not, like, he's not good enough because he doesn't like him. Yeah, but he's also saying he's curating it. Yeah, but they get, everyone gets a bit of money, don't they? Yeah, a bit, yeah. Everyone Based gets, on, like, well, the, it's a bucket split. Am I fine then? But then also, with that night, the audience is normal people with most open mind nights. The audience is comics and it's shit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but then... So then it just becomes a shit. I suppose I'm speaking, speaking from privilege here of being able to just go and do good nights. So. Well, and I only make the distinction because I have um, open just mic Just bully night. the open mic nights. Like, I have one where anyone can just rock up and sign up. Yeah. And then the show runs until we're out of acts. Well, I obviously that's wouldn't good. tell anyone not to do that. Yeah, because yeah. I think you started, not that you started that, but like, I think you, I think I did. I'll take credit. No, no. <laughs> I mean, no. no. Yeah, we we never really had sign ups up north, and now Dean's doing one after the back of your doing one. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean Tuesday Tony always did one. But oh, well, yeah, yeah Tuesday, Tuesday Tony. Tony. Oh, well, I did one in Tiger Lounge <laughs> old Tuesday Tony. Me and Those Chris Sullivan. That's my first, that was Who my the first gig Tuesday here? Tony. Was it? Yeah. Some guy that used to just run a gig in Tiger Lounge. I only met him the once. Right. Drove there with Chris Sullivan. God, I can yeah. say maybe I'm speaking from privilege and I want to do with him. Mm. Well, hang on, just sitting that now. <laughs> So your your uh, how many followers have you got? Sorry, <laughs> how many followers have you got? Uh, Two thousand five hundred. How many birds you slept with? What are you on? Oh, how many birds have I slept with? <laughs> I don't want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gentlemen, never tells. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who shagged no one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just feels like the same sort of question. Why? How many followers you got? How many women you slept with? It just feels the same. All right, well, they can find out, can't they? It's public knowledge. Yeah, on a, well... Yeah, you can't look up how many girls someone slept with on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you no. just ask them in high school. You ask not, until, not until the system decides to make all DMs public records. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah, you that. lives, That's where the world's going. How many lives would end, like, the next uh, day? I think it would be such carnage, it would actually be fine. That's Yeah, yeah. It would be point. so fucking... It would be an amnesty of everyone. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone would have to go. <laughs> everyone would no get one checked. Be a statue, <laughs> is it a statue yeah. of limitation, whatever they call it, where they go, you can't... Because of this new rule... The statue of limitations where they have, like, a rule, it's like, after so many... after so many. Prosecute. Time is right, you can't prosecute. Yeah. It's quite so. Any in and out, any in said on the DM prior to the is is not yeah. is not you're yeah. not legally bound by yeah. it. Or anything. Yeah. It'd be all the dull people checking. No, I'm checking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got nothing to lose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then that it, that's, it's so very quickly that'd be the judgy thing. Yeah. What you've got no weird DMs? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've never used the M word on a DM. Oh, you yeah. loser. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, when people started doing that, because like I saw people getting taken down for old tweets and shit, and then you could yeah. check your old tweets for certain words and shit. Can you? Uh, yeah, and I, I was never a big Twitter guy, so I didn't have any red flags. But I had friends yeah. that were like, I had to like delete my Twitter account before Fuck. preemptively. I did yeah. some funny statuses in my years ago, which before comedy, which I don't even know, I was just slagging no off really female get- footy. <laughs> was, and I had it. I went, that was funny. That, but no one, no one really checking old Facebook. It's all old no. Twitters in there. But the one, the funny one I did is when I said to me mate, I wrote on his wall. I think I've said this on the pod when I wrote on my mate's wall. I went, Hi right, mate, happy Halloween. It was lovely to see you yesterday. What's the name of that child porn site you mentioned? <laughs> but I wrote it on his wall, and then below like, it, I commented, "Oops, sorry, this was meant to be a DM." <laughs> that was that was what I was, that was the joke. It's funny. It was on his wall, mm. but it was just nothing. Yeah, but it was just yeah. funny to me the idea that I've said that, and then below it, rather than delete or anything, I've decided to just leave him note underneath it, going, <laughs> "This was meant to be a DM." Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned we mate when we mate deleted me off his one because I kept mm. putting a sad face to his picture of his kids. <laughs> Oh, it's just the guy you thought was dead. Or no, 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 this guy wants to be. So every Emma time, every dead. time he posts a family photo, I put a sad face. <laughs> and he no said, "Why?" And he asked, he asked me why I was doing it, and I said, "Because I want, I want someone on your Facebook who you're distant, sort of like relative or friend you haven't seen in a while to maybe think someone's died." <laughs> I like the idea that they're looking going, oh, what's happened there? Oh, no. Oh, I, I was take if I saw that, I'd be like, oh, he's sad that he's got a family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hoping yeah. someone would see it and go, oh, no, something must have happened. I'll, 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 like, I'll maybe message him or something. I wanted one day to, to someone to go, I hope everything's all right. Thinking of you, mate. And it'd be like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> oh, because I put a sad emoji on his, fa- on his uh, family Facebook photo. <laughs> So, uh, w- where are you both gigging this weekend? Oh, no, you still haven't told us how many followers you got. Or uh, you oh, yeah, sorry. I think... Tell us the numbers and we'll figure out which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> Combat Insta and TikTok. Oh, no, no, I want, I want individual. I don't want to come back. <laughs> On TikTok, I think I've got like 219. 
Thousands. Yeah. Ready? Oh. Yeah, that's it. Fucking waste of time. This <laughs> that was a fucking waste of time. We're sitting on a hundred ourselves. You don't even fucking post. Are you? Yeah. It's just, we don't know why. How many likes you got? Well, ours is a pod. Two point it's not. Three, two point four million. It's, it's a yeah. propaganda machine, though, isn't it? <laughs> like it's, it's no, ours weird. happened like, we, we, like, ours was so weird. So basically, we just, I. Just want we, we kept saying we need to go on TikTok. He, well, yeah. he could go into me. Need we need to go on TikTok. You know, I'm like, all right, we'll put us on TikTok. Well, I don't know what to do, do I? So, but we need to go on TikTok. <laughs> why, are you, why are you acting like you can't use computers and stuff? I can't. How old are you? Thirty one. You fucking. That's the age that everyone can use computers. <laughs> I, I honestly. He's your dad. <laughs> you know what it is? Cookies. Cookies in the cloud, and that's when I went. I'm not doing it now. You got MSN, Simon? Nah. <laughs> I, I, I love them MSN. Love them MSN. How old are you? Thirty two. Oh yeah, same here. Yeah, same here. Oh, are you thirty two? Mm. Yeah, I clung on to MSN, man. I remember being still on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remember when Habo, I bought, Habo Hotel. One girl left from school. Just you. <laughs> no, when everyone was abandoning. Two hundred and five yeah, so like, friends George offline. Two hundred and five signed in. <laughs> everyone else offline. <laughs> everyone else singing Ray. Just like one weird there. girl yeah. teacher. No, What's he listening to online? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it to go. I was like, it's BRB. So everyone, everyone's yeah. thinks it's BRB. Oh yeah. God, it's not Been even offline for twenty it, years. Yeah. Imagine getting a BRB in a normal message, like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Last thing, BRB just now is the thing, is it? Like, no, because no, no one, no you're, one all, you're always available. Be right back. I'm taking you to the toilet. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah, the yeah. first time I used MSN. I didn't know you could just change your name to whatever. I yeah. must have been like grade six or seven. Right. And my buddy had changed his name to Mr. Carmichael, which is our teacher. Right. And he's just like, hey, Jordan, how's it going? And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, right. How did Mr. Carmichael get my like details? Or just freaking out. And then it took me a second. I'm like, oh, you can see his email under the Mr. Yeah. Carmichael. This is like, this is fucking with me. I didn't accept this. <laughs> What the fuck, Mr. Carmichael? Yeah. <laughs> Who later got done for trying to hook up with a student. Did he? Yeah. Was him? In middle school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Good old Mr. Carmichael. I remember the politics of MSN. You go, like, you go offline for a bit to see like you had to Oh, so, it. yeah, some mind games in yeah, it. Sign just, in, and sit, out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could appear... Nudge, 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 yeah. nudge, nudge. You could appear offline. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 it make it look like you were doing something, yeah. <laughs> Or like when you got older, you go, you you peel off line, go and have a wank, <laughs> or you'd stay online and then just not say nothing. A hidden and then, webcam and the mates group chat to be like the mates group chat to be going, oh he's gone for a wank. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I did. Yeah. And like, yeah. then you talking to the bird, like oh just gotta go offline for a bit. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> just gotta go offline. I for gotta a go bit. offline. Why? Why do you have to go offline? <laughs> what, your webcam really always on. Dangerous. Like. <laughs> it's guy stuff. It's got shit to do. Sorry. Computer in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go offline. What, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, I could peel offline. I have to go offline off MSN for a bit. And you tell people G two G. Yeah, uh, be right back and all that. Gotta oh, go. Gotta go offline. Be back by eight o'clock. <laughs> mm. Got to go. But won't let me on it on MSN while she's watching Curry because it's in the same room. Right. Was it? No, I'm just saying that to be people's excuses. MSN. You'd be like, <laughs> the computer would be in the living room, so you won't, won't yeah. be watching Curry. Be like, no, you're not. You're not typing on that while I'm watching Curry. Go. Yeah. The big white computer. Yeah, I love the logo. <laughs> That'd make a good tattoo, the little blue MSN guy. Oh. Yeah. No, I'd make a bad tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if anyone's got like an arm, it's just like all the things that are dead now, like a little clippy. Oh, yeah. Little I think so. I, th I think I g sometimes I'll Google something with the word tattoo next to it because someone's yeah. always got the tattoo. Mm hmm. Like anything. That's why I got a bit about it, but like the idea of someone, like when a Cosby gets revealed as like a yeah. rapist, and the amount of people that must have Bill Cosby tattoos that are just like, oh, there's so fuck. many, there's like, so what? many Joe Rogan tattoos now. It's like, oh, really, yeah, it's like you must just, like he's got an, he's got to just be Joe. Yeah, has the anyone, anyone got like? It's not really. No, but we've not. One tattoo, like. We've not asked anyone. We know dead men have encouraged it, and it's like. Oh, they. There's a good handful of dead men tattoos now, which I think if you watch that podcast and you have spent any time with Freddie Quinn, it's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> and that's your own doing. Yeah, I saw, just saw that girl with one and she looked like 18. And I'm like, they must be trying to like catfish <laughs> Robert Freddie or something. Like, this can't yeah. be real. It looks oh. like a child. <laughs> 
don't know. I'm, I'm, we're, we're a bit standoffish with fans, aren't we? We like to yeah. keep distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our patrons are shit because we're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, 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 fucking yeah. leave us alone. Yeah. Have you got a Discord? No. We asked our fans if they want a Discord and they went, no, it's a fucking knobhead. Who are these cool fans <laughs> that you won't even talk to? Nah, you you stay That's away me. from us, we'll stay away from you. <laughs> so You've got to understand boundaries <laughs> in this world, Tom. Call them. <laughs> you said this before, protect yourself at all times, have a good, clean life, let's go. <laughs> when he messages and questions, it's always yeah. like, like, you fucking knobheads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever think you tell anything, anyone in confidence, you're an idiot. <laughs> you keep that shit to yourself, you lock mm. it away, and then you live your life that way. Mm-hmm. You think you tell a therapist and that's not in a WhatsApp group within an hour? Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you ever had therapy? No, do you remember that Little Britain sketch where it was a therapist and <laughs> listening to someone? <laughs> and then I'm, I'm always talking about Little Britain. Uh, and then like he goes, oh, that's the end of the session. And they leave. And then Wally oh, picks right, up the phone yeah, and he yeah. goes, you never guess yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That definitely happens though. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doctors, it teachers. Must. I mean, the amount of shit I've heard about kids in, in a school that I've never been in. The amount of doctors that must go back and go like, and go like, oh, guess whose dick I felt today? Do you remember that guy from this? Do you know what I mm. mean? Yeah, but just, yeah. you see a doctor in an audience, they tell you, oh, what's the weirdest thing you do? And straight away, the doctor tells the comedian the weirdest thing he's seen. It's like, mm. if, the, if one of them clips ever goes viral, like imagine you're talking to an audience member and one clip goes viral and then it's like <laughs> someone sitting at home seeing that going, that's me. Yeah, you see your doctor. Uh, uh, like, that's my doctor. That, that's, yeah, but it can't me. be. It, c- it probably could be something that's weird enough that you like. It could be just so happy that happened to someone else. Right. Have you ever had anyone thinking you one of your videos is about them? Uh, you know, been self aware enough. I think so. Um, there was a. I did one about someone having like a last. Someone going, oh, on my last day at work. Yeah. I'm going to tell her to fuck off. I'm going to tell her to fuck off. But then, then their actual last day, they're like. All right, see you later then. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone who used to work with me was like, is that me? Uh, <laughs> was it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it never is, though, is it? It's never going to be someone who thinks it's about them. Mm. It's like, they're, they're, never, they're you're too self-aware, can't be about you. Also, you're a fucking loser for asking. Mm. That's another problem with, because I do all my jokes about my family, mm. or people in my actual life. My problem is they all know it's about them. Yeah. <laughs> and when they ask, it's like, yeah, sorry. They always ask you. Oh, and I name them after the time. I got try get in trouble for that all the time. Do they preempt you stand up though? Are they, oh, are you gonna talk about that on stage now? Yeah, sometimes but it's never any it's never any good stuff. Mm. And the, it's just the real stuff is the one that stuff they don't want people to know about. That's the stuff I talk about when they're on stage. And the auntie's a baghead. She's like, oh, you can't mention that. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you never touched drugs till you were 50 and now you're a baghead. It's that funny. Well, what's <laughs> that baghead, funny. by the way? Yeah. What drug is that? Uh, just like bee. Just like anything that comes in a bag. Oh, okay. Just saying. It's just like a little, uh, little bee whore now. Oh, okay. Still Didn't getting drugs. used to the, the Didn't touch she... drugs till she was 50 and then a, then, a, then a kid started selling it and now she's on it all the time. That's the time to do it, though. Yeah. Why not? Have you heard... <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard that there's this Norm Macdonald bit about how everyone has that fantasy of like trying heroin when they're 75? Mm. Yeah. It's like, have you seen 75 year olds? Like, <laughs> they're not slamming heroin, essentially. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. What, doing drugs yeah. when you get old? Mm. Yeah, everyone's got that fancy. Yeah, you always say that, though. Yeah, but you know, it's a you young thing, man. I could never imagine, be asked. Like, I could never imagine dropping acid at like 32. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. I've like, never done it. Though, I really want to try DMT, best. but I also yeah. can't be asked anymore. Oh, I never. I don't even want to. It's like, like too intense we'll sounding. Go around to my mate's house and he tells me about. It. He's like, "Oh yeah, we'll do this. We're getting the mushrooms." And then, yeah, but I, I do it at like two o'clock in the morning to like six in the morning. I'm like, it sounds dreadful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like we're fucking exhausted the next day. Why would I want to do that? Sun coming up. Yeah, we will go home now then. <laughs> you you never dabbled in D R U G S? <laughs> no, not really. No. no, no, not at all in any of it. Show me someone that might like a little bit of a. Of a doob. I'm not, no, I've tried um a doob man. Mary Jane. <laughs> for lack of a better term. The haze. But uh it doesn't sit right with me. No. I look like the type of person. Also yeah. I'm quite uh, I'm a bit aloof and I'm a bit slow and uh, my eyes are a bit yeah. deep set and people think I'm a stoner, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you just look stoned all the time. I would have thought. Mm. Yeah, I would have thought you smoked weed. Yeah. I've got edibles in house, <laughs> I can't be asked to have them. Oh really? I'll buy them off you. No, I just can never I, I just Are you big into it all? Uh, I love weed. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I love her. 
<laughs> and it's weird because like everyone everyone said the weed sucks over here compared to Canada, and it's like you can't really tell the difference. Can't you know, especially when your tolerance like drops to zero, then anything sort of gets you stoned. But I miss edibles. Is it like your tolerance shit, is it? No, it's really high. My tolerance. Is I think my tolerance is high. Even though high. I don't, I've never took drugs. Really? Yeah, because people keep going. I have that amount, and then I have it, and nothing happens. No. Where you can bake. To yeah. Do that. Yeah. Well, before work, because work's so terrible. McVitie. So if you go stoned. <laughs> well, now I'm at Malmaze on a hotel. Uh, I probably sweet. shouldn't name them, but. Yeah. That's all right. Let's cut it out. No, thanks, bud. 132. But it's it's one of those, like, <laughs> man, the it's just a part-time day job, and it's just the worst. Like, cause I Could feel you like go I'm, to work stoned? Yeah. Yeah, it's the best. Can you not smell it on you? I doubt it. I don't know. Like, apparently not. No one's ever said anything. Like, he stink That new, that stinks of weed. Yeah. Well, it's a good smell, though. You know? Yeah. If you like weed. If you like weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that well. Yeah, but that's not the one the Malmaze on guest yeah. funds when they're coming in and go, whole fucking foyer stinks of ganja. Yeah, that's what I mean. You say it's a good smell, but it's one of them smells that's good for like 20 seconds. Yeah. And then when it's all day, like it's not you're a good You're on an OG Kush. Like yeah, but the petrol station, you're like, oh, a petrol station smells, boss, for about 20 seconds. Yeah, I like And then if you're there for an hour, I'm just fucking and Jordan's fucking just there with a fucking mop in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, have a bit of just gasoline. coffee overflowing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that milk's Damn frothy enough man. now, mate. It's just burnt. <laughs> no, it's pretty functional though, because if you do it all the time, you just—it's your normal state, you know. It's yeah, I've got a mate who's burnt like that. She's she's on um, twenty quid a day. Mm. Wow. So, so I think it's like four spliffs a day at least. Just fucking mm. caying in it. It's like snoop. She's never sober. She's, how how do you like how do you function? It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just like you say. It's just like, that's just. I don't. I don't mix it with tobacco though. That's a like crazy. Oh, you're blunt. British thing, yeah. No, just straight joints, like just weed. But is it, so what's just weed? And nothing else in it. Yeah. That's a blunt. I thought, but no blunts. If you take a blunt wrapper, would just like, like right. essentially like a cigar wrapper and just pack it with weed. So it's just like a bigger spliff. Yeah. No. Yeah. A blunt is right. Yeah. Did you do, did you do blunts a lot? <laughs> no. I wish. I think it's an American thing, you know. Right. Blunts, but what's the point of putting tobacco? In? It's just like you save more weed and it gives you more of a head rush. Okay. But I don't know, because now I know people who can't smoke weed without nicotine. I'm like, man, you've ruined, like, God's whole gift. point of it's weed, yeah. like Do you have a vape pen or do you do it by... It just joints. But I want to get a volcano because they're, like... That doesn't sound good, does have you it? Seen it? You, you plug them into the wall. <laughs> I want to get a volcano. You, you plug it into the wall like and Dyson. it vapes this magic, like this huge bag, like this plastic oh bag my God, full Jordan. of vapor, and then you can just take hits of it all day. Oh, oh. you'd have to, yeah, they have them in um, Amsterdam, don't they? You see, yeah. I, I remember seeing that on Super High Me. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Who was that? Get, get Doug's like the fellow who's on Super Size Me? Doug, no, no, it's no, it's Stan Doug, Doug's, Doug someone. Benson. Doug Benson. Yeah. yeah. Getting Doug with High or something. He doesn't Yeah. Is the fellow who don't supersize me? No, a different guy. Super high me. Stand up, he gets high every day for a month. Yeah, for a month. just a Which podcast. Nothing, on. By the way, like anyone who smokes weed, it's like, yeah, that's what you do, you know. Yeah, yeah, but if that's not your normal state. Then I suppose after like a couple of days, you just be shit. Yeah, I don't know. I like it's a it. now. I always say I can't do it before stage though. That's the one thing. I've always said I'd have a couple See, of whiskeys. Stoners really like doing it before they go on stage. Usually, don't they? I f- I find it just fucks up timing, and you're in your head, and everything. Yeah. So what would you use weed for? Uh, writing, like in the morning, like wake up. That's when I do most of my writing. It's like stoned, like nine a.m. with a coffee. It's nice. You ever dabbled in other drugs? Just weird. Not really. I had psychedelics growing up and shit, but I can't imagine doing something like to alter my state in the morning. Well, I've said I've said before on this. I'd I'd, I'd have a couple of whiskeys in the morning if I could. Like, yeah, but that. That's just because that's such a slippery slope. Yeah. Too, like. <laughs> I just feel like take the edge off today. Yeah, maybe you want to go back to bed. <laughs> Get back in bed. <laughs> <laughs> couple of whiskeys, take the edge off it, and you just carry on. There. No, I've done yeah. that. I've enjoyed getting up after a night or something, having a couple of bottles of lager, going back to bed. That's nice. Mm. That, no, when I I've woke up, I'm going, I really fancy a cold beer now, and I'm hungover. Like, yeah, that is the best. But that is not something I'm going. I should start every day like this. Oh no, I no. just think every day. A little whiskey with breakfast, I think it'd be a nice nah. day to the day. <laughs> like Churchill. Be tired. What breakfast yeah. would you have with that? Cereal, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it would just whiskey. whiskey. Frosties and whiskey. <laughs> Classic combo. No, well, you'd, have, you'd, you'd have your tea, you'd have your whiskey, and then you'd have a bottle of Frosties. No. I day drinking's the best, though, because it feels like it's just for you, you know? Like, you yeah. see people going to work and shit, but you're, like, drunk, and it's, that's fun, you know? 
Just yeah. day drinking and then there's just a couple of bevies at 8 a.m. in the like, <laughs> <laughs> By yourself. Things person's grossly yeah. misunderstood day drinks there's, there. Yeah, there's day drinking yeah. that's carrying on. That's like brushing your teeth with a bottle of Moretti. Uh, <laughs> you ever had a shower with a can? Uh, yes. I have had I think I've had a bevy in in, 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 in the shower. My yeah. mate swears by it, but I, I, I've never I can never get on board with it. Mate. I mean you gotta have enough space where it was back with me in my mum's where there's enough space to put the, the bottle there so the water's not in it. Oh yeah, well I, the shower I, room and now it would just buy, be chaos. You can buy a shelf. A sh- uh, no, literally a cup holder sticks to your shower tile. I bought it. No, me. that no to he me. Lo- he loves a can in the shower, so <laughs> he loves getting in from work and That's having a insane. can in the shower. So I bought him a, a cup holder for the shower. You just put it in. No, I, I was going to say I wait after work. Out. That's when you have the shower beer when you're all like gross. But I wait for wait. For, I mean, five ten minutes in the shower and then have it. Then like it's it's unnecessary to have a yes. fucking. It's the combo. I don't think showers are long enough. No, they're well, not. Maybe in the bath if you can have a bath in. Like, That's an odd thing to want to do. Wine in the bath, isn't it? Yeah. Wine in the bath or something in the bath's fine. The but like a beer yeah. in the shower is not the it's environment, isn't it? It's a shower tipple beer. It's yeah. like, you know, do you have a Heineken it. on the treadmill? Yeah, like, no. <laughs> like, it feels like it's got to be a can now as well. I don't, I don't, I've never had a bottle in the shower or any other cans. Sometimes in my head I've got maybe I'll have a couple of beers and then I'll be stupid enough to go to the gym. Would it be your first can? Mm. Um, no, it depends. First can's weird. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, it's usually if you're off work and you're going somewhere that you're going <laughs> to yeah. drink. That's the bet because you're it's like very yeah, common on holiday. Yeah. Holiday, you, you know, yeah. you've all these okay. drinks on a the day, then you have a can while you're in the shower. Uh, but I have had one. I've had. I've had yeah. f- uh, uh, going out. So I can in the shower with me to get myself going. You know, yeah. you know, you mate's been out for an hour or so. Have you ever smoked? Yeah. Okay. Ever. Smoked what? Like not smoke regularly. No, no. Yeah, like yeah my early twenties. Like Hate it. Yeah, it was the worst, man. I th- remember who was it who wrote Black Mirror? He, he used to Charlie speak. Brooker. Yeah, he spoke about how he used to smoke in the shower. <laughs> Wouldn't <laughs> your how hand you get all that? wet and shit? He was ch- chain smoking that much. He'd smoke in the shower like multiple. <laughs> like leave them on the sink and then get you get washed and then pull it out, have a smoke and leave it on the sink. Just yeah. have it in his mouth while like I'm leaning away from yeah. the That's fucking what? crazy to me. Yeah, that just seems like the humidity put the flight of the. the the or something. If you're constantly smoking it, it's probably getting enough going that you don't need. Smoking cigarettes is when I realize like what addiction is or like what it sort of does to your brain. Because my, I would tell myself I'm only smoking when I'm drunk. <coughs> yeah. But then I'm not smoking today. But then my brain would be like, I oh, just go out and have a couple drinks. And then once you have two, three drinks, and it's like, oh, now I need a Gateway. cigarette. And it's like your brain's yeah. just sort of leading you to the path yeah. it wants you to fucking yeah. get to. And I'm like, ah. Well, that's what people like with, with cocaine now. God, I've got loads that's of, why I never did it. I know loads so many of mates guys. can't have a drink without cocaine. Mm-hmm. They'll be the one at the beginning of the night, like, oh no, we're not doing bags tonight, just good old drinking. And yeah. then around f- drink five <laughs> or six, like, who, who wants to get a bag? It's like, no one's talking about it but you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking about Coke because I don't do Coke regularly. Like, oh, so I made to have it at the start and like, I've pre ordered it now. Mm. So, no, like, just they've accepted that's happening. So, right. I've got mates who just always have bags. Like, you know, the way people have ciggies in the house, mm-hmm. mates who always have bags in the house. That's crazy to me. Does it seem like it's like a lot more popular than it was like 15 years ago? Coke? It's always been a middle class party. Yeah, thing, Coke. It? Mm. No, I think it's very, Same. It's very much a working class drug thing. Coke? Yeah. It's rife in the middle. People got fuck all to do, isn't it? Oh, the, yeah. I thought the 80s day, was yeah. like the heyday of Coke. But I, uh, no, I think, it, I, 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 I think it's just like, it's so common now. Right. My thing is just like middle class little whiteies just trying to be naughty. Mm. With a bag, a bag of fake beak, yeah, but like no. that's because I thought like it was more like like the working class. I'd just get stoned because yeah. coke's like shit. No. Coke's just like what the fuck are you doing? Mm. Yeah, but it's, it's where the working class lads can make money off the fucking yeah, chumps. You get, like, you get in like, the middle class you get, like, areas, three bags for fifty, and then you do a bag in each, and then I thought coke was mm, just for like binge quid. drinking. So if it were like when you hit your wall boozing, you do some coke. Yeah, I, I think I think it's just, I supposedly the yeah. world I'm in now is just so common that like he's just fucking everything now. Right, I've I've seen like uh, chefs doing it like. Oh, chefs are bad though, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> chefs are fucking nutters. It's nuts, dude. Yeah. But there's better, there's better drugs for it than that. Yeah. I, I, don't have the I time can imagine needing coke to get through like a shift or something like. That's just such a next level. Yeah, being in a kitchen all day is fucking horrible, and it's yeah. sweating your bollocks off. Dude, I, I should do a podcast on B. Just have loads of B can do a podcast. Some people at my work used to do speed. Yeah. In work? Yeah. I know a woman who used oh. to do speed. Yeah. We made me mate when we found the shopping list. 
The shopping list was like literally just like normal shopping stuff like bananas, apples, onions, potatoes, speed. <laughs> it was like, just like in a budget. Because yeah. it must, it, it, it must just like because it was, it was like lecky gas and all that. So I think it was like, like she was budgeting. Mm. So it was like a shopping list, budgets, and then like it was clever. like thirty quid for speed <laughs> at the end of it as well. Did like, you ever have a little bump like, in work before you went out on a Friday? No, no, yes. no. <laughs> 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 just because you feel like I was when I was in a solicitors, there was just this lad, and then he just like we were all going out like for a party at the end yeah. of it. So the, the the guy in charge of it's paying for it's going to be a free bar yeah. and everything. Mm. And this lad had something that I think I, I may or may not have had a little go. So in the easy, just because it's just like. I, I don't want to do this, mm-hmm. but it's like while I'm in work, I might as well do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like yeah. doing it for the absolute sake of it. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. this is what is the what is the point? The only time I've ever really done coke is just when a buddy has a bag and I'm drunk. Yeah. It's like a key bump, and you're like, okay, now I'm. Back it's in the game. funny seeing people squabbling over the bag though. <laughs> it gets yeah. that's you, you all they the bag. You got you got the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some tight cuts got the bag. They've got Sit nothing. On it. They, these two lads have got nothing in common other than the fact of this one little <laughs> bag. <laughs> they hate <laughs> each other. They've got no. no the jobs don't align. They're just from different parts of the fucking place. There's nothing in common apart from these two degenerates. I just they've got nothing to talk about. So it's like let's get beat. Oh, the then we can talk about who's got the bag. <laughs> <laughs> have you not? Have you not yeah. seen? Oh, I mean, I'll WhatsApp you invoice me for the fucking 40 quid. I've seen people in pubs. Where's that cunt gone again? <laughs> people in pubs talking he says to half different that. groups. Yeah. Going half on a bag and they're talking to, like, <laughs> like you say, don't even speak to each other yeah. the whole night, the different yeah. parts of the room. And he just crossed the post, crossed the bag. That's all they want is something to talk about. They've, got, they've run out of conversation. They're the only two out because there's fuck all else to do. Oh, no, I'm talking um, about like being at parties right. and stuff. Where the... They must be the only two beakheads, and you see them not oh, talk yeah. to them the whole night. <laughs> like one's in the kitchen, one's in the living room, and they just now and again will cross each other's path to swap the bag. Well, it does like... bring people together, doesn't it? When you're doing something that's supposedly illicit, mm-hmm. yeah. it does get you that like little bit of camaraderie. You both feel a bit. Like, <coughs> that's why I've never really cheeky. got into it. I just feel seedy. I have to go to the bog to do it. Yeah, go in the shit at the sniff. Yeah. Mm. The thing I like about drugs is it feels like the place you're doing them is sort of the only place. That exists, you know? Like, when I do shrooms with a bunch of friends back in the day, it's like, this living room is just our whole universe. Yeah, well, I've had I've had parties, I've had barbecues where everyone's outside, and the beak heads who've gone on it too early. Yeah, oh, just no. sitting in the living room, snorting beak off a plate. It's like three in the afternoon. Because like the it's day. their little it's gang like, now. Yeah. It's their click. But, it's like, it's, like, but I, it's like, it's three in the afternoon, lads. Everyone else is waiting till they vet. It's a fucking barbecue for fuck's sake. <laughs> but it's like Everyone's the naughty room like on the stag, do. Yeah. It's like the naughty room became the naughty on the, do you know what I mean? Like, that yeah. was the click. Like, there's like, a, if you're going in there, you know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I worked in a pub once that was, it used to be underneath a hotel when like business was booming. Yeah. And then the hotel went out of business. It became like a social ho- housing building. Yeah. Or just people who were like out of jail or like down on their luck, and you could tell. Same when thing it, happened them both when it was both drugs yeah. and sex. <laughs> yeah, but you could tell when it was welfare check day because they'd come into the bar and just. Yeah. I remember this one guy. He ordered like three things on the menu, and then he goes to the bathroom for like 20, 25 minutes. And I'm the only one in the pub. It's like eleven a.m. at noon, or yeah, noon. And the guy comes out just like gacking, <laughs> like sweating, like he's just been doing coke by himself in the bathroom. Twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then it's like the whole bag. He comes out just chain f- sniffing. What, what, what? He comes out in the food. What's he doing? I don't know. He comes out like visibly just fucked on coke. And then all the he's done there. something else in there, Joe. There's no way it takes you 25 minutes. To I, st- I don't. He, I don't know what he was doing. I, I caught this guy like a month later, like washing himself in the bathroom. So <laughs> uh, he right, might, he yeah, might have just been showering. Yeah. yeah, he could have had a uh, shit. Because it's baby laxative as well, so like that makes you shit. Yeah, when he comes out and there's all this food and he can't touch it, like it yeah. grosses him out to look at it. And I'm like, yeah. what is your plan? It's so <laughs> funny when people like can't eat and you like see the jaw go with the trash. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just spit it out and just let everyone know you're on the beak and not that. <laughs> when you oh. see a jaw go, and it is quite amusing that yeah. you're yeah. like, oh, look at that. I remember <laughs> look, <laughs> you look at that. Look at that. And they're just like, cute and he's cute. <laughs> But you know when they're thinking he's they're getting trying. away with it? They're getting yeah. away with it. Like, when you get to see them obviously good and like, oh, he's fucked. But when they're just sort of like still not like pissed, but they're, 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 they think you they're just know. going a bit there. Like, yeah. that's moving at <laughs> the twitch and you're going like, oh. Sniff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk, you or they're just trying to, they go like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. And, it's just, and you can just see the little <laughs> subtle, like that, you're going like, oh, oh bless him. Oh. 
<laughs> Wholesome. What's that? Well, almost Sock. socks. It's a donut. <sighs> nice. Nice little bite out of it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. So you you tour t- 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 we'll and into yeah we'll call up. So you got need to promote. <laughs> um, TikTok. Sell yourself, Tom. Come on. Uh, TikTok, how, Instagram. How many, how many people listen to this? Or watch 15, it? Not enough for you to notice. Any of them in Leicester? Uh, do, possibly doing a Leicester show. Eleventh of Feb. There's okay. about ten tickets left. Come. There's still ten tickets left. <laughs> 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 a few of them viral videos going on. <laughs> that's about it. Oh, oh uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, he doesn't need any more followers than that, do you? You're good for that. He needs actual fans now. Mm, I've got fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you get d- stopped in the street much? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Are well, you still doing Potter Vision and all that? Yeah, I do. Uh, Put your knob away. Put my knob away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do uh, a podcast about Harry Potter <laughs> called Potter Vision. Listen to that. It's sick. <laughs> <laughs> We're like 100 episodes in. When you get me and Simon on talking about Harry Potter. What do you say? When you get me and Simon on talking about Harry Potter. Do you want to come on? <laughs> <laughs> We've never had a guest. Jordan, what you got? <laughs> uh, We've you're... never had... Do you want to come on the way you asked? Do you want to? Really? <laughs> fucking hell. So about Harry Potter, you fucking loser. you got to read a chapter. Have you? Is that the game? Bef- beforehand, his own work. And then right. You actually talk about one chapter. Yeah, and then we chat about it. But to be honest, it's got to a point now where 40 <laughs> minutes is me and my mate, me and Lucas, just chatting about our lives, and the last yeah. 10 minutes is the chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gets that way. Yeah. You're 100 episodes in. Yeah, yeah. Got a book, yeah? That's, we're on book five. Oh, wow. Isn't it problematic yeah. now? <laughs> just don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do when you run out of chapters, though? Start again. Just over. Start yeah. again. <laughs> start again That's with a new good, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Start again. Be called Lord of the Rings Vision, then. Yeah. yeah maybe. <laughs> or maybe just stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, where, where, where is your social media? Uh, Tom Lawrenson. That's it. That's it. On go, everything. Go and see him in Leicester. Where can you get tickets for Leicester? Through my Instagram. It'll be on my link tree. On there. She's professional. <laughs> Jordan. Beautiful. Really uh, if you're here. in Manchester, Jokes of the Oaks every Tuesday. Uh, not an open mic night. Nice. Not an open mic. Seven Oaks Pub. You can pay what you want. Also, Game of Your Life podcast. I talk to someone about a video game every episode. <laughs> so if anyone likes video games, that's the show. What's your social media? Have you got one? Any? Uh, at Funny Jordan D. There we go. There we go. Uh, thank you. Sign up to the Patreon. Sign up to our Patreon, tell please. Tell your friends about Tell us. a friend to tell a friend. Share our shit, please. And we'll see you for another lovely episode next week. Got a gypsy on next week. Oh, exciting.